All right. Well, we are back, huh? We're back at the Nine Club Experience, everybody. Episode 195. Yes. Burn, burn, burn. Crowd goes wild. As, as always. Usual. Yes, sir. <laughs> what uh, heirloom. Chilling, chilling. What's good? It's chilling. Yeah. Yeah. Good. good. Dude, good. I heard you had a good heirloom today, Justin. I did this morning. Ripest one I've ever had. It was, ever. It was so fucking good. Wow. Um, yeah. Did you just have it by itself? I have a video I could show you guys. <laughs> <laughs> I'll pass on the video, but thank you. You can put it up on Tim. Tim? I appreciate you. It's not here tonight. Oh. Damn it. But, uh, yeah, we're we're going to cook some heirlooms nice. tonight. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Nice. We got to get right into it. Yeah, yeah. heirlooms. <laughs> no, man, we got a great fun filled. We got some videos to talk about. We got a raffle to yes. go over. And, uh, well, should we just get right into the raffle? You want to go? Let's right? just go right Let's into go it. Into Let's it. go right into the raffle Let's do because it. this is going to be a special, special raffle. Okay. First of all, later in the show, we're going to pick three winners for the meow skateboards and sticker packs with the pin. With the pin. With, with the pin. Got, got some comments. Just give Chris the pin. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, meow skateboards. We got three boards. We got a Mariah Duran board. Just a team board, a couple team boards. Yeah, was shout it out like tripping. Wasn't it four? Four, four boards? It's four said, boards. Wait, oh, it is four. Yeah, sorry. Four. <laughs> Where the fuck did LD go? LD, we have a little technical difficulty. Oh, I think he took his uh, plugged his thing off. He plugged his plugged thing his off. Thing yeah. Off. What did he? He just. No, we got it. We so we just. Oh, oh he's he back. He plugged it back in. Yep. He's under the table. I thought he went into the other room. <laughs> Couldn't hear y'all, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Vanessa Torres board. We got four meow skateboards and some sticker packs with with a cat pin. Mm -hmm. It's a beautiful thing. Uh, go check them out. Meowskateboards.com. Check them out. Is their website. So three winners later in the show. We'll pick out of the bucket. Mm -hmm. We'll win the identical package. So each winner will win four boards and the sticker packs. Yes, there we go. Let's go. Oh. So. <laughs> Jeez, dude. <laughs> I started doing that on purpose, okay? <laughs> there we go. It's so like, <laughs> uh, This episode's raffle. It, well, it's going to be a good one because, first of all, we had Dan Mancina on the show. Hmm. One of the best, best episodes dude. I've, he, he's such a great dude. Yes. Um, you know, for those that don't know uh, Dan Mancina, he uh, went blind. He had a, a degenerative um, eye problem called RP. I think it's called RP. I don't have it written down here. But, um, you know, skating for, he just came out with a video part on Thrasher. So, um, so, so sick. So good. We're, so we're going to review that yeah. later too, but he does have a foundation um, he's trying to build a skate park. Uh, keep It's called Keep Pushing Incorporated. Uh, it was founded by Dan Mancina, and he's trying to uh, build the first fully adaptive skate park and host skateboard workshops for the blind and visually impaired using what he has learned on the skateboard and through uh, his VRT training, which is uh, Vision Rehabilitation Therapy. So all the donations we receive tonight are going directly to Dan Mancina's Keep Pushing Incorporated. We want to try to get that skate park built yeah, for him. Yeah. Rad. So Support the link is also in the description below. Um, so you could go directly there too if you want to donate. But 100% yeah. of our donations are going straight over to that. And we're going to donate to his, his cause. Keep yes, pushing. Man. So with that being said... We got a big ol' oh. Jesus Christ! This is Ooh, fucking we heavy. We got a mystery box. First of all, oh, this, this is, is the first part this of is it. A little this heavy, is actually dude. heavy. <laughs> right. Well, I should put on there 14, 14 pounds. Let's go. Feel this, dude. Fourteen is, pounds. Oh. Yeah, that is I mean, pretty hefty. I'm not even oh. fucking around. This is like, come no, on. No, for now. it's LG. legit. Come on, it's big dog status. status. Yeah. Big dog. So we got a big, big mystery package. Like I said, we have so much stuff laying around here. We got boards. We got. I mean, just miscellaneous items. People send us stuff all the time. Some people don't get their raffle, you know? So yeah. we hold it for about 30 days. If they don't come through, then we, you know, it's up for grabs. You know, we're not a, you know, we're not a storage unit over here. No. So there you go. So that's the first nice. part of it. The, the, 
Oh, there's mystery more. box. What? And then uh, we got an S package, an S giveaway, Ooh. four pairs of shoes. We got the Wade Desarmo Sheesh. XL Slim. We got the Wade Desarmo Swift 1.5, the Tom Asses Swift 1.5, and the Kelly Hart XL Slim. Wait, 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 wait. Whee. Hold up. You get a mystery box and, and four, four pairs. pairs. Yeah. Yeah. We're doing a big yeah. baby. It's a big one right so, here. So Tom Dang. Asta he just happened to do the Nine Club colorway. <laughs> oh, look at that, huh? He's a Nine Club. Is there a Nine Club written on? No. Should we get royalties on this? So we got the Tom Asta shoe right there. Boom. We got the uh, the Kelly Hart. I didn't lace it up or anything. No, you didn't lace yeah. it. But uh, it's the XL Slim, and over there the Desarmos. Yeah, Wade. Yeah, Wade's right here. This is a Swift one point five. And then you got the way to Sarmo Excel Slim. Boom. There you go. Damn. Buttery colorways, dude. Yeah. That's buttery. It's looking yeah. good. So, a fa big ass package. Big ass package. Man. And a big ass package. Straight nice up. big package. Man. You can't go wrong with this package. Right. Nope. Mm -mm. Well, listen, keep pushing. All keep day. Pushing. Trying to get some uh, donations going for Pen go. and Cena. So, all these items here the mystery box, the four pairs of shoes. Three winners will win the identical package next episode. We'll take all the donations. We put them in a bucket, and then we pick the winners. So we'll pick three winners. Sick. They will each win four pairs of shoes and the mystery box. And keep pushing. It was founded by Dan Mancina. Dan also holds a master's degree in vision rehabilita uh, rehabilitation therapy, VRT. Uh, it helps teach adaptive life skills to those dealing with vision loss. Uh, Keep Pushing is a nonprofit that combines Dan's two passions by introducing the blind, visually impaired community to the inclusive culture of skateboarding, which is phenomenal, amazing. Okay, uh, through his own journey with vision loss, Dan has found the lack of accessibility in current skate parks. So, like I said before, the goal of the foundation is to build the first fully adaptive skate park and to host skateboard workshops for the blind and visually impaired using what he has learned on the skateboard and through his VRT training. Dan has teamed up with the experienced skate park design company, New Line. Uh, using New Line's design expertise and Dan's knowledge of adaptive skating to create the safest and most accessible skate park ever. Nice. Uh, using adaptive methods uh, such as increasing the size of obstacles, adding contrast to obstacles. He talked about that. He said if it's, you know, if you're visually impaired, you need that contrast. You know, black, mm -hmm. uh, black and white or, you know, you can't... It, nothing could blend in, mm -hmm. right? Uh, tactical ground, auditory cues for echolocation, 3D models in spacious layout. Uh, once a facility is built, Dan plans to host mo monthly skate workshops and skateboard lessons for local youth and adults who are blind and visually impaired. Annual adaptive contests to help push for skateboarding, uh, for help push the skateboarding in the uh, Paralympics. He talked about that also. Amazing. As well as use, um, skate, uh, use park adapt, uh, adaptations to influence future public skate parks. Awesome. Amazing. So I love what Dan's doing. I think we all love what he's doing. Yeah. Um, if you haven't watched Dan's episode, it's truly the, one of the best we've had. Um, just I love learning about, you know, um, just blind and how he i mean he was saying like you know he's got to like label spices to cook yeah. you know with like braille and stuff and like it's those little things that you i mean we just take for granted we just yeah. go grab yeah. oh yeah. cumin we just do you know right i think I we keep, got our first showstopper chris okay let me let me let me finish yeah, Raj. Get through this <laughs> part first. um so <laughs> thank you though and um, lost my train of thought, but it's okay. Um, but Dan Mancina, great episode. Yes, I think man. everybody out there should watch it. And um, he's very just, inspiring, bro. Yeah, dude, uh, I mean, very inspiring to adapt to you know, obviously going through that process of because mm -hmm. it was a process of going becoming blind. Yeah. 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 Um, but man, overall, man, just a great dude and inspiring all the, all, the, all together. And I mean, even I was getting hit up, you know, thank you for having Dan on the show. Like, um, you know, some people out there, like their kids have um, eye loss and sight loss and stuff like that. And so people, it was really inspiring. So yeah. people were like thanking us for having him on the show, which yeah. I mean, there's no need to thank us because Dan is the man. Straight up. Dan the man Cena. Yep. 
But um, very, very awesome cause. So, again, like I said, every single donation we get tonight is going to go to uh, keep pushing so we could build this skate park and get it done. I want, I want, to, I want to help in any way that's possible. And I'm we'll, the, no, the Nine Club will donate as well also. But this is just our way of, uh, you know, giving back to Dan and uh, helping him fulfill these things that can help so many people, yeah. you know. Didn't so. he say he was building, like, right next to his house, too? So he said he was going to build it across the street from his house. Yeah. I think he's got to get the land or he's gotten the land. Uh, building the skate park is it's expensive, like we know. <clears throat> like doing outdoor or indoor? I, indoor. Indoor. He's in Michigan. Oh, uh, okay. So, um, but he's all, he wants to do these workshops where he can bring kids in. Because he is trained in VRT. So he can, you know, teach kids what he's learned and how to, like, you know, go about... Um, functioning yeah like everyday things everyday yeah, things yeah, yeah. you know and so he plans to do this whole thing this whole camp type atmosphere for people love it which is amazing he yeah. should help like down the line it'd be cool to help uh, other people with other disabilities as well mm -hmm. you know since he has the spot and is doing something like that like that'd be a kind of a cool way to like maybe get more investors in it or something i'm you know sure this I mean? is right. just a start yeah you know yeah, I'm, I mean, I'm sure it is he's he is taking what has happened to him totally. and he's bringing yeah. that out totally. to everybody else it's just amazing so like i said everybody that's donating right now thank you so much if you have the means please we will forward <clears throat> all these donations over to keep pushing and we'll donate ourselves as well of course yeah the nine club uh the showstopper cause, you say raj let's see here let me go back uh, here we go from uh oh jay brockman 150 bucks Damn, man, this one's bro. for you dan uh there's no better cause shout out tampa bay oh yeah bro. there you nice. go we got a new member also jurassic gray uh thank you for that we got uh tj federico two dollars dan's dan's the mancina keep pushing Robert Caruso, nine eight nine. Good times. Two dollars. Jeffrey Rice. Thanks for bringing us Dan's story. Boom. Uh, Tom Carney, two dollars. Heirloom season. Let's go. Oh. <laughs> Is it heirloom. <laughs> heirloom season has returned, motherfucker. <laughs> it has returned. We got chicken legs with the twenty dollars. What Dan is doing is amazing. Hope he is able to get started on the facility and good luck with these endeavors. Seems like a sick dude. He is the sickest dude. Yeah, sickest dude. So rad. Um, like I said, if you haven't watched his episode, go check it out. I learned so much. I, I, I just, I love it. I love it. And so, check his new video part. Woo! Dude. We're going to review it. Yeah. We're going to review it. We got the reviews. So sick. Dude, so, he's popping this week, bro. Hell yeah. Oh, yeah. Great got week. coverage. <laughs> uh, keep pushing. INC is his website. Uh, sskateboarding.com is S Footwear's website. Um, we're also putting the links in the description below, so you could go and if you if you have watching the show after the live chat, you could always go to his website in the description below. And um, oh shoot, I have it right here. Keep pushing. Boom. It's a it's a from a fundraiser um, website. So that's the little plan he has right there for the the website. This was taken earlier today. That's I think he awesome. just got it going. Um, in the last day or two, Perfect so timing. dude, that's yeah. so nice. cool. Sick. Yeah, so we are here for it, Dan. We're gonna do this, raise as much money as possible, bro. Mm -hmm. yeah, like yeah. I said, nine Let's club. Get him there. Yeah, nine yeah. club's gonna donate uh, as well to it, and um, yeah, we're just gonna we're gonna keep it keep it going, keep it going. Forty nine ninety nine uh, from Chad Parkinson. Dan's episode means meant so much to me. My twin brother and I are legally blind. And skateboarding has always been our first love and the way to express ourselves in a way we never could. Love y'all. So sick. Bro. Hey, hell yeah, Chad. Good stuff, man. Thank you, bro. So there we go. Also, if you want to call in tonight, we got the Discord. JC's back there taking calls. We got the, uh, we got a, uh, it's up in the uh, Experience Live show. Go in there. JC will get to you. And also, we do Discord questions as well, and Budget or Buttery. Mm. So that's all on our Discord. If you want to go there, we have all that stuff there and get involved. Budget or Buttery. Whatever topic comes suggestions. To, comes to topic suggestions. They can go on the Discord and like upvote and downvote like certain people's 
um, topic suggestions for us. So kind of yeah. gives us an easier way of like, oh, a lot of people are voting for this. Let's yeah. talk about this. Oh, so cool. if you guys want to get involved, we've got a great community on Discord. Uh, everybody's in there chatting away. we got all these different channels in there and stuff like that. So go check it out. Definitely. It's a beautiful thing. It's a beautiful thing. Discord is really starting to pop. You know it's I mean? been I, popping. I mean, look, I'm a little late. But, <laughs> you know. Yeah. It's a, it's a great platform. I yeah, love it. I'm starting I to love see it. That. I'm on there all the time. So... Okay, I'm just making sure Ellie wasn't getting up. No. Uh, keep pushing fundraiser. Links in the description below. Uh, at a, adaptive Skate Park for the Visually Impaired and Blind. Dan Mancina. Let's go. Let's go. $50 yeah. from Hans, D.C. At 44, I picked up the board again after 20 years Ooh, hiatus. 20. Yeah. Because of the Nine Club. Now 47, I love it more than ever. Much love, guys. Thank you, Hans. Man. Appreciate Hans, that. you're the man. Uh, so dope. Uh, Thomas Nuss Pickle. Oh, I like, like that name. Yeah, Nuss Pickle. Happy Wednesday to you guys, 99.99. Hey. Thank Damn. you. Thank you, bro. Yeah. Thank you, Nuss Although Pickle. Every, everything's going to the Dan Foundation. Keep it pushing. Got a good start here. Yes, Hell sir. Yeah. Well, should we just get right into Let's jump in today's topics? I think we got a uh, today's topic. Hey. Oh wow! Tyshawn yeah, well, Jones and it's uh, big news there. Mikkel Smith just left FA. Yeah, big oh, news. things, Thanks big for, big yeah. news and big things. Yeah, there must be some big things popping. Yeah, yes. Yeah. Tyshawn posted on his Instagram. Uh, Shout out, fucking awesome for the last nine years. Happy to have been a part of the journey. Looking forward to the next chapter. Uh, Nikel on his Instagram wrote, "Forever grateful." But you get the picture. We throw in a going away party. Stay tuned. Jason Dill then wrote, uh, we wish you much, much success to Tyshawn and Knack on their future endeavor. Thanks for the last nine years. That's beautiful. Yeah. 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 It looks like it was a great way of like Amicable. Yeah. 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 Nice departure. Yeah. That photo of Tyshawn and Dill is so good, too. Mm, so a little good. Dude. Yeah. There's a like, little yeah, there's old footage, I think, when not, uh, Tyshawn was on... America. America and Toy Machine. Toy, yeah. And, like, right. they're they're skating together. Yeah. So I was like, dude, they go way back, man. Yeah. And it's legit. Dill has, like, helped bring them up, and those kids yep. have done their thing, and yeah. it's time for them to fly away. There you go. <laughs> Gotta I leave mean, the nest at some point. Yeah. 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 A lot of speculation what they're going to do. There is. Yeah. I that think they're just going to start their own thing. I mean, I think so, Most too. Most definitely. Yeah. yeah. I feel like they'll fold a board company into Hardee's or something. And That's what we were saying earlier. Yeah. And they yeah. a little umbrella, mm -hmm. you know, start a little newfound distribution, I mean, I you know? I can see Blackboard with the fist. I mm -hmm. mean, obviously, you, you know, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? No, all day. That's not, yeah. Definitely. Run I mean, this is like up, boys. the natural, you know, yeah. evolution. I was of just about to say that. Yep. Yeah. Like, Seriously. Like, all these companies you've seen that are, like, bigger, like... Even go from FA and uh, and hockey. You know mm -hmm. they were on Alien, and then uh, Dill and Ave do yeah. their thing, and they yep. they move and they yeah. go do their thing. Rick yeah. and Mike, Rick like and, it's yeah. ev all the they all start. These yeah. things happen like this. This is yeah. this the evolution yep. of skateboarding. You know yeah. these generations they want to eventually be their own individuals that are running their own mm -hmm. companies. You know, and look at the legal save. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so, yeah, Paul Rodriguez starts there primitive. Look at, mm -hmm. and then and then Shane O'Neill rides for primitive, and then Shane O'Neill goes and breaks <laughs> off. And does yeah. Yeah. Thing. Yeah. Look what all Andrew did with Baker too. Like, yeah. 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 like bro, like you yeah. know, these dudes have definitely you know. It's not uncommon. Greco, my bad. It's yeah. a big tree, and there's branches coming out. You know, yeah, and they're exactly. starting their new yep. growth. So, yeah. I wouldn't have it any other way. No, because that skateboarders are running skateboarding, mm -hmm. you know? It's not just some random company coming in yeah. and starting brands, right. you know? Nah. It's like the skaters are branching off and doing their thing, which is beautiful. Especially you know? from boards, a board standpoint, like, they, we can't have no corporate, like, random shit come in here, mm -hmm. like, nah. Dude, this is yeah. never sure. gonna, yeah. I'm saying that's never gonna happen. I'm, uh, this is Especially for board brands. Board brands is, like, off uh, limits, yeah. straight up. And I think that they would get shot down and looked at differently if that was a, if you know what I'm saying? Like yeah. everybody would look at it way yep. like, what are you guys trying to do? For sure. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. So, yeah, they're probably do their own thing. Mm -hmm. You know, <clears throat> can't wait to see what it it, what's all about though. Yeah, mm -hmm. definitely. You know, I'm interested. They'll they'll do some dope shit. For of sure. course, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, yeah, they're both killing it. And or, like not Kel's doing his thing, like you know his music stuff. Mm -hmm. That shit looks like it's popping off for him too. Yeah. So that's like a, he's got a lot going on. Tyshawn, Skater of the Year. Yeah, 
Um, still mm-hmm. entrepreneur. He got, yeah, got his restaurant. Restaurant. And, yeah. Mm-hmm. And he's definitely on top of the world for being what? 21? 22? How old is he? Like, I would say. Somewhere around there, yeah. Young 20s? Young, mm-hmm. yeah. Early 20s? I saw yeah. him like, he looked like he was redoing a house or something. Good for him. He, like, I saw the story. He's mm-hmm. like knocking down walls and stuff yeah. like that. Like, oh, I'm yeah. like, dude, this yeah, guy. That, that Airbnb game. <laughs> yeah, yeah, dude. Love to see it. Amazing. Bro. Love that. Awesome. We need to get Tyshawn on the show. That means, yeah. hell yeah. We've yeah. talked about it before. This is a while ago, too. Mm-hmm. And then it just never kind of lined up right. He was on our show when we went to New York. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. But, um, yeah. I mean, listen, best of luck to you yeah, guys, man. man. Yeah. You guys are going to be out there killing it. We will be supporting you. Yeah. 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 All the camps. Yeah. You know, yeah. FA, hockey. Whatever For sure. Tyshawn, knock one to do. All day. Skaters supporting skaters. Yes. You already know. But, um, yeah. Should we try to get him on chocolate? Girl? <laughs> <laughs> what? I don't I'm just think they're available. I, I know think? that they've st- they're starting something. There's no okay. way that you would just quit. With that, with that you know type of I mean, listen, we can't. Like, it won't hurt hitting him up, you know? Yeah. Hey. Just, hey, what's up? <laughs> you know? <laughs> We could talk. You guys want to come on? <laughs> like, you wouldn't leave that. <laughs> Heard you guys were like leaving. Yeah. Yeah, yesterday's amazing. price is not today's uh-huh. price. Yeah. <laughs> you wouldn't leave that situation without something planned out. I yeah. Like. I, that would be, I, feel, I would feel especially like. Especially after nine years. Yeah. 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 You know. yeah. Because I think those checks were definitely not too shabby. Mm-hmm. So I would, you know, yeah. you got to be prepared to, you know, have mm-hmm. that be ready. to. You got that little hiatus and then yeah. you got to get something right back in there yeah. to supplement that. No you know? doubt. Mm-hmm. Yeah. No doubt. Well, that was a. Uh, Nikhail posted the other day, and then yeah. I think Tyshawn posted today, and Dill mm-hmm. posted today. So it was kind of, kind of re- re- breaking news. Yeah. Yeah. It's all yeah. happening now. And it's all real time. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, but shout out everybody. Shout out Dill, FA, Hockey, yeah. Tyshawn, Nikhail. It's amazing. You guys are, I mean, everybody's doing their thing. It's a natural course of yes. evolving. Like, dang, there you go, man. Let's see what's going on with the chat, man. Luke O'Brien with the Canadian ten dollars, bro. You guys hey. keep supporting the scene. We back you. Thank you, bro. Uh, that Jamie dude, love from Saskatoon. Thanks for what you guys do, dude. Saskatoon, Sassy. Saskatoon rep, represent, bro. bro. Yeah. Dude, they got a, we got a lot of support in Saskatoon. <laughs> yeah, I love it, bro. And Regina, right? Or not? Not so much Regina. Eh, some Regina, not a lot of Saskatoon. I don't know the uh, per capita there, but uh, it's probably big. You know. Um, anywhere, anywhere else in Canada popping off right now, Chris? Uh, I'll let you know if I see something. All right, yeah. Canada overall will be repping straight up. Mm-hmm. But um. <laughs> <laughs> hey, shout Whippy! You know that's where TJ's uh, from. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Whippy! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, Whippy. <laughs> mm. Love Whippy. Yeah. Ah, that Saskatoon and Regina are forever going to be in my heart. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I love it. Regina. Mm. We went through those. Mm. Th- that's why we went through. Those? Yes, LD. Uh, we went. We went through Saskatoon, Regina. Remember the rolling hills, the uh, mountains. Uh, <laughs> I'm so beautiful. Beautiful. Yeah. beautiful. I, I think I called my mom or something during that trip, and and she remembers like. She's like, yeah, you, you told me that Canada was so beautiful. Mm-hmm. The rolling hills. Roll- it was so beautiful. My God. I think yeah. we went where we, we didn't make it to the east. I think we just went from Vancouver. Then we went to Calgary. Is Calgary, is that still in the middle, I think? Uh, yeah, it's not in the west coast, I don't believe. No, not it's on the east the either. So yeah. does, it lean towards of- the, does it lean towards the east? I'm not too My Canadian the, geography. Yeah. Is a low. <laughs> I just know Toronto's on uh, on the east. Yes. Yeah. I'll tell you what, man. Saskatoon and Regina, there. I think they're dead set. Right, <laughs> in the yeah. right in the center. There we go. Montreal's tight, too. Montreal's tight. Oh, yeah. So I've never been. Yeah. It's pretty cool. I love Island Canada's great. Canada's I Canada. amazing. Yeah. It really Vancouver is. Vancouver is the best. Yeah. Hey, shout out, shout out to all the uh, Canadians out there, man. You know? Stand up. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever you're stand doing, up. stand up and hold. Uh, stand up. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> People are watching dinner right now. Like. <laughs> watching up dinner. They're eating dinner. <laughs> All right, you watch it. Oh my God, we got an old, we got an old buddy on the line here. Old buddy? Yeah. <laughs> hold on. Hello. Old buddy? Hey. Hey. Yo? 
Yo, what's good? Oh, hey. he's older. What? <laughs> what's up, guys? Jake Lipman is back. Wow, bro. dude. What's up, guys? <laughs> yeah. Dude, it is, it's been a century and a half. It has been, dude. What's up, guys? Regina is in the middle. No. So, I, yeah, I told you. <laughs> yeah. Straight in the middle. Yeah. You know anything about uh, Saskatoon, Jake? I was I, I was just about to Google actually where Calgary was when mm. y'all were talking about yeah. it. That's <laughs> <laughs> uh, kind of dude. He's all grown. Yeah, he's yeah, fucking grown like, up. He was on like the West Coast. Wow. Yeah, he was doing. What tricks were you doing last time you, you called in? You we watched him do some tricks, right? Uh trade flips. Which I lost, um, <laughs> V heels, and like some other, some other tricks. Bro, but um, bro, he's tripping me out, dude. Know, dude. He, he went from this guy. What's up, guys? Tell you, very old heels. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, I was just about to Google Calgary. Yeah. <laughs> so wait, is he? Are you seventeen now? Eighteen? I'm sixteen. I'm 16, about to get my. Uh, I have my driver's test coming up uh, oh, May 4th. Ooh. Watch out out there. Hey, Watch out. Deal, Jake's going to be on the road. <laughs> Amazing. Are you yeah. studying? Do you know all the rules? Well, I mean, so the way it works here was uh, you had to take, like, a paper test to get your learners. So that's when I knew, like, all, like, the signs. But here you'd have to, like, the practical, which is, like, your actual driver's test. Is just um, like parallel parking, three point Ooh, turn, yeah, 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 yeah. turn, right turn. It, driving's so easy. Yeah, it's yeah. so easy, dude. I, I, trip, I, I trip on the people. <laughs> I trip on the people who. <laughs> it's easy. It's easy. <laughs> yeah. I don't do that. No, I, I learned how to drive on manual <laughs> transmission. I, I mean, Me listen, yeah. it's it's yeah. easy, bro. I trip on the people who can't like they have a hard time. I mean, I feel like I get it for some people. It's scary. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah straight be. up. I mean, I'll pull into a spot backwards at 20 miles an hour. <laughs> just park, get out my car, go. You know what I'm saying? 20 like, miles an hour? Whatever it takes. Yeah. <laughs> Damn. What? You're, you're in a rush. <laughs> I'm always in a rush. <laughs> <laughs> His car also parks itself. Yeah. So. <laughs> I don't use any of those features, though. Oh, you don't? No. Dude, it's a trip. I do occasionally. I do all the time. Yeah. I just sit back and watch that fucking stupid spinning wheel, steering wheel start spinning. Bro. It's crazy. Yeah. yeah. Let, let's try <laughs> it. Do that. Might as well. Let's just see. Yeah. Are you going to get a car, Jake? Uh, yeah. What are you going to What's I'm your first a, car? A RAV4. A RAV4. Okay. Nice. RAV4. Nice little yeah. Toyota. Nice. Little, yeah, that's practical. Are those two reliable, door? Reliable. Very reliable. Mm -hmm. Two door or four door? Four door. It's a four door? Uh, four. My four door. Mo mom's hype, dad's hype. So. There, you My mom has that car. there you go. There you go. Yeah, yeah, it's good. Four. Go Is it green? I always see green Rav fours. I don't for some reason. Oh uh, yeah, like that. That like light gray, greenish yeah. tint or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Love it, dude. Oh, Are you gonna take yeah. your homie skating? Uh well, the thing is, so I have a, a lot of my friends are older, and the one I skate with the most, David, is going away to college, so. Um, he'll be going away in August, but I'll be ta I'll be driving him around, paying it back for all the times he's driven me to the hey, skate park. There you go. So there you go. Yeah, cool. pay it forward. There you yeah. go. Jake, is there anything you need to tell us, man? You're growing up quick, right before our eyes, man. Man, it's like, are you learning new tricks? Are you even skating anymore? What's going on? We, we don't. I wish we could talk um, to you for two hours, but give us a rundown real yeah, quick. Yeah, no. So I've I've been skating. Um. I had also started training Brazilian Jiu Jitsu uh, okay. like eight months back. Okay. So that's been that's been a new it's it's kind of like learning to skate again, but different. Yeah. It has like, the same like <laughs> mental hurdle. Lil no Jake wonder. Lil Jake could whoop all our asses. Man. Man. No wonder his voice sounds like <laughs> yeah. that. Yeah. MMA on the way. <laughs> oh. Yeah. So I've been doing that. I've been skating as much as I can, okay. but high school I have this research paper coming up, so I've just been grinding that out this past good. week. But Still doing your homework. Yeah. Stay good. on your studies. There you go, bro. Yeah. Damn, well, Jake. Damn. 
Jay, all, all grown up. <laughs> all grown man. up. Wait, so you're still tuning in all the time, uh, every week on the show, or are you? He's tuning like, no, nah, I watch MMA I podcasts. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it's because I gotta get my beauty rest, but um, <laughs> yes. I'll tune in like the day after to watch. And, oh, there you okay. go. Yeah. Yes, you're the man, bro. Straight up. Well, listen, Jake. We, yeah, we love you, bro, and uh, <laughs> thanks for giving us a rundown. I keep calling back, dude. We love to, you know. <laughs> yeah, good old ketchup. Yeah. yeah. We'll catch up. Yeah. Catch up. Yeah. I've just been, you know, swamped with school and stuff, but no, no need to I'll be, yeah. tell us. Handle it, dude. What are you, a junior? I'm a, I'm a sophomore. Sophomore? Yeah. Uh, about to be a junior okay. next year. So he's almost Amazing. done. It's the se- I mean, it's almost Ooh. done right now, right? The school year? Oh, yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah. All the seniors at my school, they go away in May uh, for like, a, like an internship program. So they all dip. And that's Ooh. just me. And the other grades. Wow. Damn. Dude, he'll, Tom, in no time he'll be graduating. Like, oh, yeah. Going to fucking he's, I mean, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. He's got his car. He's going to be driving, <laughs> parking in the school parking lot. Oh, you know? man. He's going to be rolling up. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> Dude, that was the best when you started that transition. I'm not riding a bus no more. I'm driving. I'm driving. That's, cool. That's yeah. right. The best. Okay. I never For made me, it it's, I'm not going to be skating to spots anymore. I'll just be. There you go. Hey, yep. There you go. Hey, always remember to take your board inside. I know you live, uh, in, yeah. no, you live in a cold uh, place. Friend. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh don't leave it in your time. car, huh? No. Oh, yeah. That mm. shit will warp so fast. Even here with that. the heat, you know? Yeah. Or the yeah. trunks get hot. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, yeah. yeah, you were saying that feeling when you get your car and you can go skate by yourself. Oh, yeah. Dude, that is oh. the coolest Freedom. shit. Yeah. He's like, oh, I'm Freedom. Gonna go I this. can go anywhere. Yeah. 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 <laughs> and you just wow. go to the skate park. Yeah. Yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. Just go right down the street. But still, <laughs> you're driving there. Yeah, yeah, dude. That's the thing. Yeah. Well, Jake, dude, thanks for tuning. Thanks for always just being you, Jake. Yeah. Thank you, bro. Thank you guys for being you. Thank you. Yeah, Thank you. Appreciate and uh, you, good luck with the jujitsu stuff. I hope you... Just follow your dreams, you know. If you don't want to skate anymore, we'll understand, you know. But I feel like parents right nah, now. You know, nah. I feel like we need to, I, like, you know, I'll be, put the hammer I'll be down honest. a little bit. I lo- I love skating. Okay. It's one of my favorite things ever. Um, it's just you know sometimes I think it's healthy to not always be skating because then you get burned out yeah. and that's yeah. not fun anymore. Exactly. Yeah. Definitely. That's a very mature answer. <laughs> He's a mature I did not dude. think yeah. like that when I was a kid. I was like, you still don't think like that. Uh, <laughs> straight up. <laughs> yeah, to be honest, who knows? In five years, you might be whipping some ass and yeah. straight up, day, bro. And yeah. I'll definitely support. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah. For sure. Most definitely. Hell yeah. <laughs> I'm a big fan. <laughs> <laughs> MMA. <laughs> Right. Jake, man, good stuff, Jake. Thanks for calling in, man. We uh, yeah. we love catching up with you, bro. Yeah, thank you for taking the call. Yeah, oh, yeah. thank you for being a friend. <laughs> Oh, I can't live that down, huh? No, that's Mm-mm. good. I'll do so, it again. It's gonna I'll follow you ever. I should. I'm gonna put a soundbite on here. You have to. Oh, oh yeah, please. I got to. I, gotta, a, I, gotta I can't wait out. for everyone. I gotta here. find that somewhere on my phone. You gotta send it to me because yeah, yeah. I need to extract the yeah. audio. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> for those that don't know, I don't you know. know. Trust me, you, you haven't heard that. No, he said. I think he left. He hasn't been in the green room for a minute. Oh, it was a green room. Yeah. All right, Jake. Have a good one, brother. Later, Jake. Have a good night, bro. Later, Later, Jake. Later. (laughs) Amazing. (laughs) Oh, Jakey. Jakey Poo. Good old Jakey. Jakey Poo. MMA? Crazy. Man. Good God almighty. Let's go. Okay. Good for him. Yeah, I'm going to have to look for that later because I'll be lost. Oh, no, no. I didn't mean now. Yeah, there's no way I could put it. If I had it right then, it would have been good. It's fine. Tim was here. He could pull the clip up. Yeah. Can he pull the clip up? From From Twitch. Oh, yeah. True. Mm. Is it still oh, there? Probably gone. Yeah, yeah they, they disappeared. Three, three oh. weeks? I went and looked yeah. for it the other day, oh, actually. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Mike Anderson. Black hole. Black hole. Ooh. Spitfire part. So sick. Mike Mike Anderson uh, kills it. We got a little montage here. Of some of the tricks Dude. in the video. Still, still going hard in the paint. Dude. Yeah, that was fuck- Dude, he did a lot of fucked up switch shit in this part. Yeah, he did. He always does. Yeah. yeah. I did a lot of tours with this dude, and he is exactly the same yes. on a skateboard. Best yeah. dude ever. He got better. He got better for sure, but he was on always, a skateboard. Yeah, yeah. Like he's I still. I feel ripping. like he was oh, gnarly, dude. No, no. I mean, he was always gnarly, but he's gotten like his switch stuff that he does. Like it's fucking unreal, dude. dude. There was something that popped up the other day, and I was there for it. It, it was like in like 
fuck, dude, France or some Europe somewhere. And he, it's just like this really quick, like ollie up back nose blunt on this tile thing, and then like come down. But it like, it was uh, so fucking gnarly. Oh, you're talking about. You know what I'm talking it's like about? Super. The 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 bank of it. You have to ollie. It was like you have to literally yeah. the bank is this big, and you have to ollie up to it. So it's like a bank this big, and it goes, and he ollies up real quick, like uh, fucking really dubstep, bah, bah, mm-hmm. and then backs and like like, comes down, oh, like, and then it. drops off. Yeah, he's, and he's been so gnarly, yeah. dude. I mean, all the stuff he's doing in this video is just that was right there, dude. Well, that's his I mean, brother. That was his brother. Yeah, was, yeah. 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 yeah, his brother got he's fucking super, gnarly. Super, his yeah. brother yeah. got yeah. super gnarly. Definitely exactly. Did. Good wall ride. Shout out to all the family members in skateboarding. That is that is the coolest shit. So sick. It's rare too. Obviously, it's not like you know. Yeah, like the I don't the. What, I mean, the Jonas can, Brothers. Yes, one. They're a good Sa- band. Sal- the Jonas <laughs> Brothers. <laughs> well, Jonas and Jeremy. Oh, <laughs> the Ray Brothers. The Ray Brothers. Oh yeah, sorry. I'm sorry. That wow. was. Wow. I was, I was, I was, <laughs> Jonas. I was thinking of yeah. Jonas and Jeremy. I'm like this. The, the, the Ray crazy. Brothers. My bad. Yeah. Sorry. That was, Jonas Damn. Brothers, I don't know if they skated Bro, or not. Yeah, <laughs> 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 the Jonas Brothers. Yeah. Malto's friends with like the old one. Yeah. He's like best bud. Oh yeah. It's See, they're in skating. Energy. I told you. They're, they're, they're in skating. <laughs> I love I love a good bro, I love a good nose bun slide, bro. Dude, switch. 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 switch fake anything. Whatever. Yeah. I, dude, a good nose bun slide any day of the week. Yeah. Blunt slide, I should say then. Damn. Gap to him. Where'd you find this? There he is, another but That's reminding me of uh, Vincent Alvarez. Switch Blunt 270. Yeah, he's always yeah. doing shit like that. That's a sick spot right there. Mm-hmm. Seems like Guy would be skating that mm-hmm. sometime soon. Looks like it's just in the middle of nowhere. Yeah. Like they just drove by and found it. You know where he like, lives, Chris? In the middle of nowhere. No, no, no your favorite lives in, place. Lives in your favorite place. Saskatoon? <laughs> What's your favorite place in the United States? Ventura. No. No. Ventura. Yeah. Ventura County. Why is that my favorite place? I don't know why that's his favorite place either. Has he, he said that? T- yeah, quite a few times. Yeah, like, a, like at least 20 times. But, oh, that's in Ventura. Yeah. I love it there. No, because <laughs> that was, we've, in an episode, we, you, everybody, you kept saying Ventura. That was yeah, so you that was, kept saying running Ventura. With it. And then I, I ran with it. It was, mm, it was, it was him. him. It was you that's yeah. been saying that the whole time. You're like, yeah. oh, that's in Ventura. I okay. think that was me. No, dude. I, it was it, somebody. Chris, it was Chris. You guys were insane. I ran with it, though. Not. I ran with it. He's like, I love Ventura. Love it. Spots yeah. in Ventura. So that's why you keep running with it, and then so that's why I said you. Is anybody that could pull the pull up the clip, I'm leave it, in, leave it in, yeah. leave it in yeah. our Discord. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Leave it in. Our Discord. <laughs> you guys don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> you Ventura's dope. Mike Anderson. I love Ventura. <laughs> it's amazing. I love it. It's great. Good taco spot right in the top here. Uh, Isn't that a big surf city? Uh, no? Big surf is like way No, big surf. No, big surf. Oh, big surf. Oh, big oh, no. surf. I thought no. you said big surf. No. Well, yeah, there's good surf. It's okay. Turf. I didn't mean to. You guys are all. He's like, no. no. All right, you know what? I'm going to take my clips and go home. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to take my clips and go home. It is a big surf city. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Check out Mike Anderson's part. It's fucking amazing. You will not be disappointed. Oh, shoot. I didn't put the links in the shoot. description today. Really? I, I messed up. I'll put him on after <laughs> we'll the show. Later. After the show. After the yeah. show. We'll okay, that trick there. right there was yeah, fucking that's crazy. That's troll. super gnarly, dude. Where is that? Ventura. <laughs> Thank it probably you. Is. It actually <laughs> might be. It actually the beach. Might be. Right on the beach. <laughs> Wait, didn't somebody like, else skate that? And then there was a trailer right there, and they did something off the, mm, the trailer. I forgot who. Was probably Mike Anderson. Man, I feel like T Funk or something. I, I don't know. Familiar. Yeah, I don't know, but I've never seen anyone skate a bank like that in my life. Yeah, that's wild. Damn. Yeah. Go check it out. Yeah, it was Mike good. Anderson, the man. Anderson. Hell yeah. Spitfire yeah. part. Anderson. Black Man-derson. hole. Black mm-hmm. hole. Black hole. So good. Ventura stand up, bro. Ventura you know stand Tell up. Them. They stand up. What's that, 805? I think so. I think you're right. Yeah, it's it's cool. Mikey Taylor. I think it was 805. Is it 661, maybe? That could possibly be a part of it, too. Because that's deep. Is that considered? That's not a valley, right? No. Okay. 
That's like that's you have to go through like you go Santa Clarita to the um one one oh one? You could take the one oh one there. Yeah. From there, yeah. What's I think it's eight it's eight oh five, I think. Is it? Yeah. It's gotta be. <clears throat> Skate Street. That's right. OG spot. Well, you ever went to Skate Street? I don't think so. Really? Mm. That was the first uh fucking vert ramp I ever dropped in Ooh. on. Actually, oh, it might damn. be first and only I've ever dropped in on, but What okay. was it like a 13 foot ramp or 12 a foot? Fucking big. Big. Yeah. Big. They, scared. They had a lot of contests there. Yep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. There was a four on ones there for yeah. days. Yeah. Damn. I, did you when you dropped in, what was that like? Did you like were you tripping out or did you just do it like chilling? Uh I was tripping out, but I just did it chilling. Like I, I, I maybe not chilling. I just did it. Like oh, okay. I didn't, it wasn't like I sat there and was like, oh, I don't know. Yeah. Like yeah, uh, yeah. fuck it, go. Like okay. yeah. Damn. I wish I was like that. I was not. <laughs> yeah. You, if you I think was... about it too much, then you're tripping. Well, yeah, I don't yeah. know how to skate transition that well. So me, just... you talking about dropping in? <laughs> yeah. On a, on a ramp. Ramp. Mm-hmm. Just flying to the bottom. <laughs> like, oh dude. Yeah. God, so scary. Just shoulder chase. That yeah. first one for sure. So scary. Yeah. Yeah, but when you can't see like dude, the bro. one part underneath your board, yeah. you can't see uh, that shit. And your wheels Fuck aren't attached it. to like it's just your wheels are just out. Yeah, yeah. Like, they're not touching the the wall. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. They're yeah. sticking yeah. out. Yeah, and you're like what the? Yeah, you're just gonna fly down. Fuck that. Yeah, dude. I'm gonna <laughs> chill. Fuck. Gradually that. take that transition and run. Mm-hmm. With it. Yeah. Yeah. Listen to dubs. Mm-hmm. So you dropped. We are we for sure had this conversation, but you dropped it on Vert. Mm-hmm. You for sure had Where? this conversation. I know, but just let's the talk Vert about ramp it again. in Malibu. How old? Well, like, it was that a Vert ramp? Like a Vert you, Vert ramp? Did you drop in when you that were pro? That was not a Vert ramp. No, no, no. I know. <laughs> no. This is pre pro. Pre pro. Pre pro. I don't think that ramp is that big. I would, I'm like surprised. Was, there was a Vert ramp in Malibu. Like, I know. I think I know what ramp you're talking about. It was not like a Vert Vert ramp. Dude, it was like. <laughs> There is the no way. <laughs> there is no way. Let me bro, finish, it bro. It, 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 it had these ones. No, the like this one. <laughs> very smooth. A little fish or something? Went up. Little, little two a, banks. Yeah, right there, yeah, like a big ass mini ramp. I'm telling you, bro. Oh, okay. <laughs> It's so good. Two dude. bangs and mostly flat bottle. Oh, oh. <laughs> Let's go outside and see if you can manual for a yeah. while. Oh, oh, fuck. Oh, <laughs> okay, listen. We're ready to move on? Hey, let's do it. Because we got Discord questions. Let's Discord it. Discord <laughs> questions. Uh, this is an interesting question here. This is from Cor Shay. Coder Shay. Said, uh, could there ever be... An American professional skateboard league, kind of like the NFL or NBA. Certain cities would have teams and compete for a championship. Yeah. Hmm. I don't, not in my lifetime. I don't know. I think when I first saw, read this question, I was like, and and I think, yeah, it would be hard to get to that point. I mean, to create like a league all over Mm. the place, but... If skateboarders wanted to make some serious money and make that their living, mm-hmm. like that would be the ultimate way where you could like have a salary, like just like the baseball players. Yeah. Yeah. It's a mini and Olympics. Yeah, no, no but like, but it's, but like a le- yeah, it's a, a league, league. right? League. But, yeah. yeah, and it's like, like teams every yeah every year yeah. once a year. Like I'm on LA team. But yeah, team how do you like Brazil? Like you know, no, the United no, States. Just, no, but I'm I mean, saying yeah, yeah, like yeah, yeah, similar yeah. to sure. that, but For on sure. a smaller scale. For sure. But then like it's so subjective. How do you create? It could be like the PGA Tour. It could. Uh, well, there, the thing about PGA Tour is like there's there's the game to it, right? You hit the ball in the hole. It's skateboarding, it's just like who does the better trick, yeah. right? So it's like a. It's hard to com- like if there was an end goal where like in the basketball game you get the most most points wins. Like even football, right? Football yeah. can be confusing. There's a lot of rules. It's you know whatever it is, but it's it's simple. It's like you score a touchdown, you get six points. You get the, the you know the yeah. one point yeah, the or the two point, point yeah. conversion. Yeah. You know it's like basketball. You put it in the hoop, you get two points or three points. You know it's yeah. very easy to follow along. Skateboarding yeah. is not that easy, yeah. especially right. street. Yeah. 
Yeah. Fair, there, there ain't not. no points. I think the closest thing we're going to get to is street league. You know what I'm saying? Like, as far as, like, an actual league, but it's a league within itself. Yeah, there's yeah. only one league. Yeah. It's yeah. not like you're playing for teams yeah. or anything like that. I think that. once you get teams involved, and it, it throws another caveat that I think people are, it, it would just take too much within the skateboard industry. That's just my point of view. Yeah. I mean, I, it probably could be done, but I think it definitely takes a lot of, like, complex thinking to get that to really it's, un- reveal itself. Every visit every arena it would just be a contest yeah it would just be a contest you know where you could That's start cool. it is high school like high schools against high schools different like sectors you know what i mean like you could you could do it like that mm. yeah it's just like it's just like another competition like yeah so you yeah, have yeah, to have the right just, judges and everything like that totally you have judges that have or can have the right criteria to do it and stuff like that'd that. that'd be kind of yeah, sick yeah. like santa monica versus ventura or whatever you know yeah. ventura yeah <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Big Sur City. <laughs> never say never, but yeah. I don't know if it would pan out the way that we're thinking it would pan out. Just the way like, that the industry set up, it just it, it it would take too much of like really honing in and how this would really happen, like how you know, and and getting all these companies together to make sure that it could right. happen. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. The closest the, thing that's happened so far, literally, is the Olympics. Yeah. They ha- you have countries that played for, their, like, who's going to represent their country, and they all became a team, and then that's how, you know, that's the closest yeah. I could see, like, of a, of a team developing. And there's like a that. lot of mixed decisions about that. You yeah, know what I mean? for like sure. About the Olympics in general for yeah. skateboarding. But, yeah. hey, we've evolved. We are here. It's just, yeah, it's <laughs> weird because we go back, going back to the point earlier of, like, bringing in outside entities that are owners in something like this. Like, mm-hmm. yes. And then they want to start finding people and shit. Like, like you can't, that's just not, mm-hmm. skateboarders are not going to be yeah. you know, constricted into, around some shit like they, yeah. yeah. Uh-huh. That, I, I just don't see that happening. Mm-hmm. It's too, it's too, ugh. skateboarding is freedom in that sense. Right. You know what I'm saying? So to have all these little like guidelines and, you know, it, when contest is enough, there's enough w- within that frame, yeah. you know, to now like, again, I don't know. Yeah, it'd be I, tough. Yeah, it'd be tough. I would like to see maybe some chance of it, but again, it, it would take a lot of thought to really. It would take a lot of thought yeah. and those, a that's a different type of skateboarder. Yeah, exactly. You, that's not yeah. even like yeah. a, that's not yeah. what we do here. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? That's like a, Full on train Olympian, yeah. Olympian type. Yeah. Well, like, but I think, it, but there's not yeah. a lot of those. There is, I not guess, yet. Yeah, but if they train them like that, like uh, I've heard of countries like taking people that weren't skaters and like, yo, they did like, uh, they were in martial arts and they moved them over, like, hey, you should start skating, and they taught them how to skate, mm-hmm. and they're killing it now. Yeah, so people are kind of. I don't see it far off. Yeah, I don't know. Like, yeah, but I don't know when you try to compare it to like golf, for instance, it's like. Golf has, um, again, you're, you're hitting it into a hole mm-hmm. and you're getting points based off of that. Skateboarding doesn't have that. So it's like, right. th- there, yeah, is exactly. of, there is a but lot of... Golf is like an individual sport too. And so is skateboarding. skateboarding yeah. is, but, That's so, what he's saying. But it's not subjective yeah. though. So golf is not subjective. Yeah. To the, right. You know what I mean? Right. It's not like, oh, that if it was a good hit, you get extra point for that. It's like, no, no. whoever hits... Yeah. It's no. the yeah. Whatever yes, it is. It's already like yeah. in place of like, this is, this is what it is. Yeah. You get in that hole and fucking four, you, you got a par. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's, mm-hmm. Skateboarding is way more complex. Than it in, is. In, yep. in, you know, the only I, game right. that skateboarding has, I feel like, that is like controlled on that level is, is a game you of skate. skate. Right. Yep. That's the only thing I think that we have. High ollie contest. Like, there yeah. are things. Yeah. But... Is but that, then you're, you're breaking gonna... it down. I mean, if it were to be a league like that, then yes, you would need like... All right, we got this guy who's got high outlets. Right. We yeah. got this guy who's good at street. We got this guy who's a vert. Like you would then have to break it up like that, but that's just and it's super repetitive. Right, it's yeah. just going to be the same shit. Every and the longest ollie, about, like, the highest ollie. Like yeah, <laughs> and you do that at every city in these arenas. Like that's just I don't I don't know. Yeah, but if skaters wanted, if they were selling out arenas, yeah, if they you did. wanted to make if some money. Yeah, out, dude. I mean, you could make some. Yeah, that's how skaters yeah, could make a living. But like, that like, like to sell out an arena, I feel like you got to be on some nitro circus boom boom huck jam yeah. type yeah. shit. Yeah, like doing just right. a regular contest with. Like, it just I don't under, I don't see that but it would, appealing to a lot of civilians. It wouldn't be if you're talking about teams and representing places. You know what I mean? Like in a sense, but it would be different because you would have people there supporting their city. Yeah, and like that. making. But okay, yeah. so to draw a parallel, they started doing that in gaming. Do you know any of the 
the city's teams in gaming? I don't know gaming. Exactly. So if somebody doesn't know skateboarding, just because the city has a team doesn't mean that they're naturally going to gravitate towards it. But are you going to go there and watch or see if you're part of, if you do know gaming and you like this, you're from the city, you're going to go there. Yes. But I mean, we live in a bubble of skateboarding being the greatest thing in the world, but I don't think that transcends outside of that. So just because the city has a team, I don't feel like. We need good marketing. Yeah. You do need yeah. great marketing. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. That's, that's definitely. Definitely. Mm-hmm. absolutely. That would be that's crazy. Look at a billboard and it's like Nigel writing for Los mm-hmm. Angeles Dragons. Yeah. <laughs> Los Angeles the Dragons. Dragons. Yeah. <laughs> Dragons. <laughs> I feel like that would be in Canada. <laughs> I, just, it's a first animal. I, 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 mythical right. game animal. <laughs> the first it's animal the you think was animal. a dragon? Yeah, dragon. Like, I, would, I would at least think the bears. Like, yeah. I don't know. It's, like, you know I mean, it's people with their you know teams and I stuff. Mean, it's kind of like, sure. you know, I mean, the pelicans. Yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah. The really Hollywood Outerworks. Yeah. 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 Hey, I like the sound of that. <laughs> But, Let's have a nice spring to it. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't know. It's like, you know, like, could skateboarding get there? Yeah, I don't know. Maybe. But if you think about it, like, what's what's a sport that has actually come up and turned as big as, like, a baseball, uh, football, soccer, basketball? The lingerie that, football league. Yeah, that <laughs> fill, but, but that fills arenas. Yeah. Like, but that uh, hasn't unless, really happened. Unless they yeah. find the way to make it, like, a point-based system where it, like, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? Yeah. It's, but I, I don't know how you could do that with the skateboarding. Only, but that's why I said Street League has been the closest. That's what I'm I saying. Think, it, it's, it's been the closest as far as, because there's points. Yeah, you know? right. And it's, there's, a, there's a season. You know what the I mean? The closest right. thing that I can relate to with skateboarding is uh, ice skating. Love ice skating. Mm-hmm. No, like, like, li- li- like, a, like, you know, people do like the triple axles and stuff like okay. that, like judging yeah. wise. Right. Okay. Yeah. I feel like yeah. that's the closest thing because judges. Sitting yeah. there on the side, it's not like they're doing the same tricks or anything. I, I don't think it's like literally the same type of sport, but judging criteria wise, it's kind of the same thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but you mm-hmm. could say gymnastics, you could say diving. Oh, there's yeah, so many like, different yeah. things that are judged on points. Yeah, so it's like mm-hmm. you have five judges, whatever, and yeah. they put their in a evens out or whatever. Yeah. So that's all it just lives in that world. And there's nothing like that that's close to base baseball or football i don't think yeah yeah like a league wise right yeah, right sure. like there still isn't like an ice skating like league or so, i don't like, we're in a league of our own we're in a league of our own yeah but put put it this way if if that were to happen would you not watch it oh it's not like about la that. la versus like whatever i'd be know. like oh, I don't, let's go i don't LA. really tune into that many of the contests I would, have to, I would I would I would, I would give it, I would give it a test run to see if I'm going to enjoy this. Right, exactly. Yeah, obviously, it's skateboarding, so I, I want to see how this is being represented. Oh, skateboarding, you know that. what I mean? Yeah, yeah. But like, but if it's something that, you, yeah. yeah, yeah, like, what, what do you, like I feel like there's a lot of teams in LA and Kansas City too that like are affiliated with the city, but I'm not paying attention to it. Yeah, type mm-hmm. shit. You know what I mean? Like, I don't yeah. know. It's a very interesting question. Though. It is. Yeah. Mm. I mean, we've. I think as skaters, I've, I've thought about this kind of question before. You know, because it is one of the ways. Like skateboarders, especially nowadays, we don't. They don't make a lot of money. You know, a lot of pro skaters work a job, have two jobs, and are a professional skateboarder, which I think is just. It sucks. It's yeah. Fucking whack. Dude, skateboarding is like one <laughs> of the only professions where you can be a professional have your name on product and still have to work yeah a nine to five it's whack yeah. different jobs. it's fucking yeah lame you know because these people i mean it's beside the point but you know there's reasons why these professional athletes get paid so much it's because they're selling out arenas yeah. and these owners have so much money to formulate the best team and they're taking writers you know they're taking uh, players from this team over here drafting them over to their team and this and that. Yeah. So it's not just, oh, LA team. Like it, it would be this whole drafting and yeah. people from different places and stuff like that. But it, it's on Kelly's point, it would be kind of, as far as I can see right now, it would be the only way to actually make skateboarders a lot of money, mm-hmm. you know, yeah. and it would only be a handful of people. And that's well. when you get it corporations would be, involved and that's when shit changes. And right. that's what street exactly. like tried to do, no, right? right? Unless skateboarding just blew, like, crazy exploded yeah. over the next you know 10 years but it's just skateboarding is this wave it's yeah. up it's down it's up it's down companies go out of business it's like it's never a constant flow yeah you know i don't and know we, it always it always makes me depressed when i think that there's some of the best skateboarders out there and they're working a day job 
and trying to be a professional skateboarder. I think yeah. it's yeah. fucking whack. It's, it's yeah. hard, man. Well, I mean, it's the way the industry's been built. You know what I mean? It's not... <laughs> Skateboarders have built what they f can build. You know what I mean? And there's like a threshold, you know? Yeah. And I think that obviously with, with big shoe companies getting involved and, and this, these are helping get these skateboarders some money. You know? Yes, right. yeah. yes. But if it ever got to a point where it was like a corporate entity or corporate structure trying to really come in and infiltrate, we wouldn't let we wouldn't allow it. I don't I just don't think as far yeah. from a board perspective. But you know, obviously shoes and fucking clothing, drinks and, yeah. and drinks and all that mm -hmm. shit. Like that's just a you know. I still a feel that, that comes with the, right. the dudes yeah. that can actually you know. There are the shoe companies out there, right? But the, I think with the majority of the drink companies, they they go after the podium people. You know, they go after the people who are actually going to be in front of like a camera and an audience. Yeah, to get visibility. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and like. I'd like to see that changed, you know? Yeah. It's like cool, like I mean, not listen, there's what do you people there's change though. What why? Oh, like do they have to sponsor everyone? Not or, everyone, but, or, but like, like have more of a, you know, diverse, you they know. They give opportunities to dudes that are not in contest. A hundred percent. I see really a lot of the younger generation change. getting yeah. sponsored. I'm like, that's freaking, that's pretty sick, dude. Yeah. Like, but, uh, yeah. These companies also have to adapt to what's like cool, you know what I'm saying? And what's like in the moment cool. Like a lot of these kids that are fucking like have all these crazy followers and don't have no sponsors. Those kids are like that's relevant now, you know what I mean? For, mm -hmm. Especially for these corporate companies, they, they look at numbers. Yep. So if you got fucking a hundred thousand sure. followers and you got no fucking sponsors, that's still fucking amuse. They'll amuse that. Right. They'll look at that for and be sure. like, well, at least he's got followers. Yeah, you know, mm -hmm. and that's, he's speaking to somebody. Like, yeah, this, this person, someone's fucking with him. Yeah, you know. Mm -hmm. So yeah, there's different ways of this, but yeah, dude, it's this. I don't know if we could ever get to a point where we could have a, a gnarly skateboard league. I, I think, again, I'm going back to street league and what they built. I think that's probably the... <laughs> it's yeah, the closest. Yeah. No, it's the, the closest the, it's yeah, ever... That's the top. Yeah, yeah it is yeah. the top. Yeah. It is top. the contest. Yeah. If there, were, if there was one, like, like re reverse engineer the whole thing. Like, what would mm -hmm. you want to see? Like, what would, like, grab your attention? I think skateboarding is so authentic to all of us that it, it, it would be so weird for us <laughs> to see it go to that level. Yeah, but, no. it, mm -hmm. and that's... It, Again, that's doing a disservice to us because we want to. Right. We want to get to that that promised land and where Olympics, where everybody's really you know eating, you know, yeah. and but, really not having to get that extra job. But look at the Olympics though; there was such a divide there too. It's like some people were for it, and a lot of people weren't for True. it. So it's like there's always going to be that. But I don't know, man. I don't. I don't see it happening. But. What I would like to see, I couldn't even tell you, man. I mean, we went through the high ollie contest. We went through some of the stuff that, you know, but makes you sense. Would, you would like to see people go into stadiums to basically make sure these guys get paid really well. If you were going to a stadium, like, what do you want to see as a, an event? Well, see, that's the thing. Yeah, that's, that's, that's hard because yeah. for us as all being street skateboarders, like obviously what we want to see isn't what's going to sell out arenas. What would sell out arenas is fucking... Danny Wade jumping fucking Great Wall of China. It's already shit. been. Yeah. You know it's already saying? been like, there. It's already right. been on the table. That's what I'm saying. So like the big air stuff. That's what's the wow factor to everyday civilians that don't know about skateboarding. When you get them in, like even the announcers at um, the Olympics couldn't even get the names of the tricks right. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> yeah. so how is that going to translate to just regular everyday people? It's just it's there, rough, the, right. the thing. It's cool. The street league has about it that there's a the technique to the to the game, if you want to call it, the mm -hmm. strategy to it, yeah. like. You gotta know. And you can see people climbing the ladder. You can see people do it. Like, oh, all I need is that trick to get to that next spot. Mm -hmm. Like, you know what I mean? So I need to get like an 8.5. So I got this trick for that spot. Like, and that's where the game of it is coming along like this a little bit, where like yeah. you, you're yeah. starting to become a sport a yeah. little to an extent or more. I of strategy. feel like in the beginning though, that was kind of a down, not a downfall, but that was like to Street League's detriment because then Chaz would go and like, oh, I just need to do a crooked grind. On the big section for oh, my last yeah, trick, right. and then it's just like he blows it. Then it you know what I'm saying? It's like anticlimactic. Right. It's like mm -hmm. that when you're playing that game, then that gets a little weird too. But that right. made it pretty exciting, though. I, to me, I was like, "Damn, you fucked up on a cricket." Like, yeah, because he was trying to be strategic, mm -hmm. and he tried to take the, not the easy route, but the, the easy route to fucking yeah. get to that first place. You know, if, but that if was all he had to do. Done, and yeah, he fucked up. Yeah, yeah. like yeah. He, he just fucked up. Yeah. I mean, like. Chad's awesome, but of like course. he mm -hmm. just, you know, it was like that nerve. Those moments. Yes. He probably, when that happened, I remember watching that and be like, dude, that was like a freak accident. Yeah. You know what I mean? But that's yeah. just a, that's what happens in that. Oh, I agree with, uh, 
You okay, LD? Yeah, I'm good. Okay. Just... I agree with Walker Studio over here on the chat. He says dime contest is the only contest we need. That one's good. I love that. Wow. That's just the fun. dime contest. That's just so fun. Good. I mean, you they, those dime could literally sell at arenas. Like if they did like some, some ridiculous shit, shit like that, they do a big like that. Hell yeah, I think they could do some things for yeah. sure. I mean, they do. It their... attracts a lot of people. Yeah, too. <laughs> it does. It really I does. Love it. For I, sure. I want to go to a dime contest. I do too. You what know, sick? You know, sick. I thought about like, dude, how about like betting? Like, I don't condone betting, but <laughs> they oh, do. I thought you said betting, like yeah, betting, like, bro. When you, you said betting. like the, the, like, the, betting yeah, yeah. like, <laughs> like imagine like street league though. Like if you like are at Vegas, you can. In Vegas and you you're can. Like, that's Kings. amazing, bro. On DraftKings and these things that you can bet street on, league on there. Yeah. Oh wow, street league, uh, the Olympics. They do it in, in California though. I it's illegal think. in California. Yeah, yeah. Uh, okay. but yeah, they're, 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 it's on there. That's so sick. Because then that way, I'm just thinking, you know, like then you're like, even if you don't skate. And That's you sick. bet on shit like you could bet on that and it's kind of fun because it's something new i would bet on you know ping pong or something you know yeah. like i don't know shit about really <laughs> download the app man use a vpn like roll the dice <laughs> roll the dice use roll right. dice mm -hmm. thank you for the question, great question. uh coder shay i don't know if we'll ever answer this question or if we'll ever see something like that happen i don't i don't know i can't see it i would like something like that maybe but maybe i don't i have mixed emotions maybe yeah, i don't yeah. know i yeah. don't know i like skateboarding you know raw and and you know unfiltered yeah yeah but That's at the same skate. time yeah we so all that way it was like when i when you do see it filtered you're just kind of it for me, that leaves a little bad taste in my mouth. Feels totally inauthentic. You know? yeah. Oh, yeah, for sure. I but that's got, just again, our, our era. You I know? think we got there with Street League. I think we'd be teetering like a little bit overboard if there anything went beyond Street League. I think we would be looking at it a little different. A little sideways? You know yeah, we'd be looking mm. at it a little sideways. But I think what Street League has done is the closest thing to what is presented out there as far as leagues are concerned. There you go. We'll leave it at that. Hell yeah. From the old buddy. Someone created Coder a game shit. that you could make with the skateboard like that and then you create points with it like that Th that would be the only way you could be yeah. done really yeah. i don't know but i don't know how that would work well i love the discord questions yeah, we got man. another one for later in the show that kind of relates to what you were saying dubs yeah yeah but first, let me thank a couple of our supporters. We got uh, Athletic Greens. Thank you so much for the support. If you want high, 75 high quality vitamins, minerals, whole food source, superfoods, and probiotics, get some Athletic Greens. Go to athleticgreens.com slash nine club. You will get one free, uh, free one year supply of vitamin D and five free travel packs with your first Beautiful. purchase. It supports uh, gut health, nervous system, your immune system, energy, recovery, focus, and aging. Go to athleticgreens.com slash nine club. Do we get that box yet? No, we are still waiting. We need that. Trust we need me, that. everybody here is on the Athletic Greens. We yeah. love it. Um, Manscaped. Go to enter the promo code nine club at checkout. Receive 20% off your first purchase <clears throat> and free shipping. Manscaped.com slash nine club also. Also, Element. Element. It's L-M-N-T. It's an electrolyte drink mix. Uh, contains a thousand milligrams of sodium, 200 milligrams of potassium, 60 milligrams of magnesium. No sugar, no coloring, no artificial ingredients, no gluten, no fillers. Uh, electrolyte deficiency or imbalances can cause headaches, cramps, fatigues, weaknesses. When you sweat, mm -hmm. dubs, mm -hmm. the primary electrolyte loss is sodium. You can lose up to seven grams per day. When sodium isn't replaced, it's common to experience muscle cramps and fatigue. Element is offering uh, eight single serving packets for free sample hey. packs uh just cover shipping i think it's a couple bucks go to drinkelement.com slash nine club that's drinklmnt.com slash nine club and get that it's great stuff Pick i love it, it. also thank you so much mob grip tape santa cruz rick de wheels go check them out nhs fun factory there you go all this stuff is on our website if you go to our website up in the left hand corner deals and discounts go there it is all of our <laughs> Deals and discounts and discounts, <laughs> yeah, for sure. There we go. A lot of thank deals. you, everybody that supports us. We really appreciate <clears throat> you. And also, just to remind people if you are donating in the chat right now, all the proceeds uh, are going to go to Dan Mancina's foundation, Keep Pushing Incorporated. He's trying to build a um. A fully adaptive skate park and host skateboard workshops for the blind and the visually impaired using what he's learned on a skateboard and throughout his VRT training. 
VRT is Vision Rehabilitation Therapy. Dan Mancini was on the show again uh, this week. Go check out his episode. It's phenomenal. So rad. It's really good. So we're trying to help him. He just started this fundraiser. He's trying to build this skate park um, using adaptive methods, um, such as increasing the size of obstacles, adding contrast obstacles, tactical ground, auditory cues for echolocation, 3D models, spacious layout. It's amazing. So if you are donating for the live chat and the uh, the raffle, all the proceeds are going to go to the Keep Pushing, Let's Get the Skate Park Built. And it, Nine Club is going to donate, of course, as well. So any help is very appreciated. Right? Yes, yep. mm-hmm. absolutely. We we'll want to support Dan any way we can. There we go. That was just a reminder yeah. for the people out there. Now we got... How about some budget or buttery? Ooh, Let's get it. You know what I'm saying? How about we Let's do a little budget it. or buttery? Here yeah. we go. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> gotta prepare for oh, this. Get ready for this. Yeah. Get, get, get all relaxed. <laughs> Everyone get relaxed. <laughs> Hey, there we go. Budget or buttery? There we go. Oops. Let me see here. There we go. Ready? Yep. Number one. These are all from the Discord, by the way. If you Discord. are a member of our Discord, go to the budget or buttery section under uh, get involved. Get mm-hmm. involved. Budget or buttery. Ask Dubs what he thinks. What do you guys want to know? Budget or buttery. Number one. Licking your fingers after food. Fuck, I do that. Buttery. It's not the <laughs> yeah. best. It's not the best thing to do. And fuck, my wife always. Is, she's looking at me recently. I'm like, <laughs> she's like, dude, are you serious? Like, just chill with that shit. I got a napkin here for you. You gotta, but you gotta lick. But it. I'm just like, but, <sighs> but especially after chips or something. Yeah, too, something you get that, that yeah. little shit off your fingers. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? it's, it's, it's not the best. Jesus is laughing because he does it all the time. I do that shit all the time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can't help it, yeah. Mm. But I know it's like the it's not the best thing to be doing. But it's buttery. <laughs> but it's buttery. It's buttery. I'm buttery. I'm, I'm, what I'm about AFC it, so. made a whole slogan on finger licking good? Like, we already know. Are you, it's true. <laughs> would you do that in public? I do it in public. Okay. Where am I going to hide it? Oh, I don't know if you're just doing it at home or something. No, I do it at home. And <laughs> okay. I do it like I'm not conscious. Like I'm not conscious of it when I'm doing it. You know what I mean? Like yeah. I just it's just a part. Is, I'm just like I'm, yeah. I'm trying to yeah. savor that shit. <laughs> I feel you. I do the same shit. Yeah. I'm just like I've been public. I don't give a fuck. Like, no. Yeah, yeah. No. I mean, it's no. showing some truth to the food. True. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Whatever. That's I'm, a compliment. Whatever I'm eating to the chef. Compliment. They looking their fingers. At me. Whatever uh-huh. I'm eating is good. Uh-huh. Yep. <laughs> what about number two? Magic shows. <laughs> Buttery. Oh, I mean, there's yeah. definitely some. You know, it's entertaining for sure. Yeah. Are there any? You new? ever been to? Oh, was, go ahead. No, I was gonna ask if you ever been to the Magic Castle. I've been to the, wait the Magic House. Yes, yeah. I have. It was a, a great experience. I had a great dinner, and you go to three different little areas, and you get a you know nice little show, oh, and yeah. it, it was great. Yeah. It was great. Yeah. So Absolutely. Magic Shows buttery. are buttery, buttery, I, and I love David Blaine. You know, David. I love that that type of, of of magic. That's just really like. How the fuck it's like did you jarring. do that? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, David Copperfield. David Copperfield. I'm not. Oh. I'm, I'm. I'm not mad at David Copperfield. I'll go to Vegas. He's and OG. Copperfield. He's yeah. kind of like the. I mean, he's OG. he is OG. He, he made a plane that. disappear, or some shit, a boat or something. <laughs> How he did it? I yeah. was, uh, I was, a li- I must have been like five years old, and I was at like the Orange County Performing Arts Theater, and it was like packed, and some magician was on stage, and I was in, in the, like four rows back, sitting in the middle, I'm like just, he's, oh, I need a guest, and I'm like, Don't put me. and it's like parents are there and everything. Mm. The dude chooses me. Yes, I, of course. Yeah, I'm like five. And I get up and I have a bowl cut. I'm just fat. And I'm just like sitting there. I, and like he, like he's like, hey, just blow into it. And there was a lady on the side. And she was like, blow into it. Blow the thing. And I got blew into it. And the thing like flew away. But I saw like what they did to make that happen. Uh, but the rest of everyone else didn't see it. And I was like, whoa, this shit isn't real? Like I didn't oh, know it was my wow. first time as a kid seeing that there was like the illusion to things. And yeah. I was like, but it didn't like fuck me up or anything Dude. Wow. Like, you know but it was interesting at a young age to see something yeah. like that but that's crazy it, you ever see those shows where they 
the Shit. behind the scenes. They yeah, show I love you. That shit. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> when I first saw how they sawed a woman in half, I was dumbfounded. You know? <laughs> it's two bucks. That's the one right there. Springs yeah. with the legs come out. Oh my god. There was a uh, there's a show on Hulu. It's like a it's not a documentary, but it's like a a, a show. I forgot what the guy's name was, but it's uh, it's called In and of Itself. Mm. It's like a magic show type thing, but like the story that they go through is mm. fucking incredible. Oh, like shit. if y'all get a chance, his name's like David something, I think. David but. Blaine's. <laughs> Blaine's? Yeah, David Blaine's. David Blaine's. <laughs> Making Blaine's disappear. <laughs> David Blaine's. David Blaine's. Yeah, look that up, In and of Itself. It's mm. fucking phenomenal. But it's Check like surround, well. it's about magic type shit. Okay. It's dope. What about number three, Speedos? Budget. Okay. Did yeah. we do that one before? I don't know. I don't think I we did like... speedos. No. I think okay. did we do the like the, the bike pants or something? Maybe. I can't I keep know. track of yeah, every episode yeah. and yeah. everything we've done. I think those are budget. Has okay. anyone ever owned a pair of speedos here? Never. No. Nope. I got a speedo no. fucking the head thing. Oh, oh, keep your head. Okay. Keep your yeah, hair. Keep your hair. hair. Yeah. Mm. I can see LD having a speedo for some reason. <laughs> Especially with that mustache. Yeah. <laughs> Charlie, put that mustache. You do it. <laughs> All I could think about was Charlie. Yeah. All I could think Charlie, about. God damn it. Yeah. Fortunately, I can't pull the shit. Uh, Tony's not here. Uh, Charlie, Last time you were naked. Don't right? worry about it, Charlie. <laughs> yes, he was running in the yeah, street naked. <laughs> what about number four? Leather pants. Budget. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I didn't know. Maybe didn't no. own Maybe any thought. leather pants no? either. No. I leather, don't, I leather, see... leather jacket. All day. When I see mm. when I see people wearing the leather pants, I just don't understand how you could like wear them all the time. I feel like once it gets hot, hot as fuck. Yeah. yeah. I've done wax and denim and that's hot enough. I can't imagine. Oh, oh, yeah, that's right. I just feel like that I would think be I've uncomfortable. Had a pair of those for yeah. sure. Yeah. Yeah, mm. yeah so, I can't do the leather. No. Leather pants. Budget. Hard no, hard budget. Hard budget. Okay. Yeah. What about number five? Pizza Hut. <laughs> <laughs> It, the reason I, la I laugh is because, and it's not funny, to be honest. <laughs> it's not funny. Because fucking, the, the wife got po a food poisoning from pizza. Oh, no. Hey. I'm going to have to go ahead and put you on the budget list. Damn. Oh, yeah. Pizza yeah. bomb. We were looking yeah. for them as a new sponsor. Fuck bro. Pizza Hut. I, uh, yeah, I mean, I'm I've had good kidding. experiences with, with Pizza Hut, but like. Cheese pizza. I have to, that's like yeah, once you fuck with the family, like, you yeah. got you gotta, you gotta, I feel like back in the, the day, it was, it was a bomb. It was yeah. good back then. Yeah. 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 I don't know if your pizza had might have had a little arcade in the back. Oh, yeah. Like, oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, it was good. It's palm. Yeah. yeah. Pizza but, Hut was like top tier back then. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Pizza Hut. Early mm -hmm. like nineties, early two thousands. Mm -hmm. That's true. That's very true. And then all the little small independent like pizza companies <laughs> started coming out of you're like, this is what pizza is supposed to taste like. What I I love all you guys though. Domino's budget. Pizza Hut, but but you guys are budget. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> What about number six, Epsom salt baths? Buttery. Mm. Buttery. Okay. Go ahead, get your, go ahead, get your body right. Yes. Come okay. on. Need that magnesium. Definitely done that quite a few times. Okay. Okay. What about number seven, bounce houses? Buttery. Oh. Yeah. Okay. That's good for the kids. Yeah. And occasionally the adults will get out there and have some fun too. Mm. Got to mm. take your shoes off. Yeah, you do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Mm. What about number eight, wind chimes? <laughs> Damn. <laughs> I think there's some cool coolness to wind chimes, but I'm gonna go ahead and say budget because I don't want to hear that shit all the time. I know. Yeah, I don't. Yeah. I really like, don't. Is it windy all the time though? I mean, it has been recently. If it's windy, it no, I don't been. listen. It's not windy wanna, all the time. I know. Well, it's been windy enough for me to be like, nah, I don't want to hear that shit. <laughs> <laughs> if you constantly Especially had recently. to hear wind chimes yeah. from like your neighbor, oh. yeah, we had that in front of our house. I think it was. I don't know why we had that shit. And I, obviously, I took that shit down. But um, yeah, there was a reason I took it down. It was it was it was annoying me, and I'm hearing that shit. And there was enough wind that it was occasionally <laughs> popping up peaceful. enough. Yeah, like, that dude, threw me off. But it's tie, nice tie your shit it off. Is. It is tie nice. your shit off. Yeah. If, if it's yeah. super windy, yes, you take it down. But on just yeah. like a With nice a Saturday like, morning, they like hear the yeah. wind yeah. yeah. If I'm visiting an Airbnb yeah. and they happen to have that, and it's on a Saturday morning, and I'm waking up and cool. All day. I'm not going to go ahead and take that <laughs> buttery. down. Buttery. Yeah, buttery. I'm taking but, them down. Yeah, if it's at the house, <laughs> I'm taking them no, down. No, because I don't want to hear that every day. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Rough. Yeah. Buttery? Budget. Budget. <laughs> <laughs> I got lost. Yeah. Number nine, coworkers that think they are the manager. Budget is fuck. You mm -hmm. got to be, yeah. 
Yeah, yeah that's the worst. Yeah, I don't need to be hearing nothing from you. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah, your coworker. You're li- bro. you're on the same level as me. What are you talking about? Yeah, yeah. I've never been in that position, so it's all good. But it's budget. Hell yeah, it's yeah. Just budget. Okay. Straight up. Gotcha. Damn, that was a slight flex right there. I've mean, oh, yeah. <laughs> never been in that position. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I'm fortunate enough to not yeah. have been in that position. Okay. Thank you. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get the party started here. We got, uh, we've been talking about him all night. All the donations tonight are going towards his foundation. Keep pushing. Yes. To build the new uh, adaptive skate park. We got Dan Mancina. Came out with his uh, Thrasher part. Keep rolling. So fucking sick, man. Bro. This, I, I, doing pop seven fifty fifty on a flat Dude. bar. On a round mm-hmm. flat bar. That is first trick. Just wh- yeah. right there. Bro be working for it, too. No doubt. That's Hart Plaza, I think. Sick name. Oh, in Detroit. Shit. Yeah. Heel wow, front five zero. And then it, to know where the curb is for like, bro. Yeah. It was it was interesting that when he was talking about filming when he was here. Yeah. He was talking about how like he usually just does two trick lines, mm-hmm. and there was a clip in here where he did three. Three, I remember that. I was yeah. like, so it was like I was like that must have been a really difficult thing. Obviously, like a more challenging this obviously the two line or the two tricks. Right. So like, wow. I don't know. Pretty rad. No, nah, he's dude. He's killing it, man. He's insane. He's killing it. Was this a three? No. I was tripping off that when he's going off the curb. Like, that yeah. one that judge it like was that. snarly. I thought he was about to catch the, the... I know. He's lying <laughs> away from him to catch that thing. Uh, it's cool. It this, looks like he has a little box set up in his backyard. Mm-hmm. It was like they posted that, and I was like, what a good little thing to practice on. Wow. Yeah, I think he was talking about his box, or he made a, like a little skate thing at yeah. his house. Oh, dude, yeah, that fall, oh, dude. Oh man, that spot was really sick. A lot of this, all the spots he skated was were really cool. That's insane. This was the three trick. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then off the curb. Mm. Two. <laughs> Dude, yeah. dude, the flat bar yeah. spots he yeah. skated. Dude, this one, free. this like, is gnarly. Bro, you don't know where the end is. Yeah, yeah. He he was even lifting up early. Yeah, right there. Well, he's got to time everything out. Right. Even with the three trick line, he's got to be like he's got to look, you know, with his uh, yeah. his the show cane, the cane and stuff. Yeah, yeah. he's yeah. got to be like, okay, cool, you know. So I feel like maybe if it's like one, two, yeah, three, then he knows like, okay, I gotta. Yep. Right, right. Yep. Yeah, but like once you're on there, now you, you how do you judge the speed yeah. at what you're on? Yeah. Are you, well, when right. you, if you got on a rail, you're going faster than you're normally running up to it. You yeah. know, I wonder if he's like. I mean, I could imagine maybe like his friend, like you're on it and you're like going down with him, and you're like one, two. I don't think three. he does. I think he just susses it out. From what he was talking about, he just kind of. Yeah, he didn't seem like he was counting. He uses his um. His game to kind of uh, yeah, like explore sh- the uh, environment, yeah. you know? So wild. Yeah, like skating the gaps. But yeah, dude. Next level. Where it's more of the timing aspect. Yeah. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah this incredible, dude. It's he's so dropped, good. He's dropped a few video parts, dude. Yeah. And it's like, you know, keep pushing. Like his, uh, his yep. please, if you're donating right now, Goes right, right to keep pushing. Yeah, That's right. Dude. Ryan Kula just donated five hundred. What? Wow. Wow. Kula, wow. five hundred. Keep pushing, Dan. Man. That's what he put. Kula, 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 Kula fucking man. Let's do it. But there's other people too. Down with PJC four ninety nine. Good luck, bro. Dan. We appreciate uh, it. All. Maxwell Realms with the dollars. Uh, Alex Peza with the dollar. Uh, people are supporting. Oh, you know. Kula, I hope you're writing all this off when your taxes clear. Shit, it'd be better be. That's donation. That's donation all day. All day. So good. I I just. It's a really good part. If if you're watching, go 
We're going to put, I, I, I fucked up, I didn't put the links in the description, we're going to put them in after the show, but go watch this part, go give it a thumbs up, uh, leave a comment, you know, let's just show yeah. some, show the support, you know. It's you on know? Thrasher. It's on Thrasher, yeah. Yeah. The, the flat bar tricks. I mean, all the tricks are, are, it's yeah. like, he does, he went from 50-50 on a flat bar. That is. Every trick he does on the yeah. flat bars are <laughs> fucking psycho. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, there we go. Damn Mancina. Go check it out. It's a great part. Guy kills it, bro. Yeah, he's the man. And like I said, if you are um, donating in the live chat, all the proceeds, 100% of them are going to keep pushing uh, where he's going to build a first fully adaptive skate park and host skateboard workshops for the blind and visually impaired. So we're trying to get get that started he just turned it on like a day or two ago so let's go let's go the link will be in the description um after the show too so if you're not donating now the link in the description will be there you could always donate to it yes sir boom straight up and go watch his nine club episode too Whew. so good yep you Love get that. a little more insight for sure Love that but uh yeah dan mancina so coming out with the the fire Congrats, Dan, on putting out that part. Yeah, seriously. Right. Getting all the coverage. Man. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Congratulations. All at once. Takula says he's never been able to claim a cent for taxes. Really? That might just him being funny. He's, yeah. Okay. <laughs> he's being silly. Silly. Girl. Realms with the $5. Keep pushing and keep that pimp hand strong. <laughs> D. Hurst. International man of leisure. Anyway. <laughs> I was dope. <dull. laughs> Kyle Hennessy with the 199 buttery. Hey, everybody! Thank you for uh, for donating. LD's out. We're gonna do LD's pick of the week now. Pick of the week. <laughs> Shit. We're gonna do LD's pick of the week. Without LD. Without. How are you guys doing? They're doing good. We are doing good. Great. Hungry. Yeah. Hey, we got rock solid. More mortgages, huh? Canadian hundred. Dan Mancina is a reminder that nothing is impossible. Straight up. Nice. Boom. Rock solid mortgages. Thank you, bro. And he's oh, from yeah. Canada. Yep. Canada stand up. Stand you know what already said. Stand up. <laughs> They've been standing up, huh? You know what I'm saying? And Ventura too. Right. Yeah. 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 Ventura right. and Canada. If you're anywhere, stand if you're, up. But if, if you're, you're anywhere, if you're anywhere. Just stand yeah. up. But if you're stand in up. Canada or Ventura. Stand a little taller. Stand up. <laughs> you just stand up. Full erect, okay? <laughs> just whatever you're doing. What, what else is going on? Nothing. No, yeah, just hanging out? No, just, just chilling. chilling. Yeah. He's going to just get into pick of the week, and he just gets up and leaves. Yeah. 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 Well, he spilled his beer yeah, earlier. Well, I'll read some in. more comments, <laughs> dude. Uh, Fish Pilot 690, skate or die, member debt. Mike Burn five dollars, nice big one. Yeah, nice, nice big one. Yeah. Uh, we got a bunch of other ones here too. Hey, shout out for the members also, channel members. Shout out Eastern Board Border Nashua, Nashua, N Nashua NH. What's NH? New Hampshire. New Hampshire. New Hampshire. All right, Justin Demars. Hey. Kid Nichols, two dollars. Shout out to Hunger Skate Parks, best in the business. Fifty feet of Earth, Nether Canadian, two dollars. Keep pushing. Mm. Okay, LD's back. We're gonna back. do LD's pick of the week. Yeah, here we go. Yeah. Let's get it. Well, here, listen, we got the pick of the week. Oh, yeah. That is crazy. Yeah, that's insane. <laughs> that right there. Yeah. <laughs> it's like a Dr. Octagon. Yo. Yeah. <laughs> that was sent in by Flo Schreiner, a.k.a. Loop Biz. Hey. Oh. Loop Biz. All right. Who do we got, LD? This is our boy, Ben Hatchell. Ben Hatchel. Wow. Damn. Wait, that flipped. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. And he caught that it thing, flipped. huh? Flipped. 
Jesus. Damn. That dude is like insanely good at yeah, transition, man. It's he like is. fucked up good. Psycho. Happy belated birthday. Oh, happy belated. Happy belated. belated. Shit. Wait, has anybody done a back Damn. 540 melon on a mini ramp before? I, I would not know that answer. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and say, yeah, that's been done. But like yeah. the way he did that right there, just really, I don't know. <laughs> Bro. He did that. He, he pimped that shit out. But maybe it hasn't been. I can't, I, for some I reason, I can't say he did it, it perfect. Hasn't, he did it absolutely he perfect. He did it perfect yeah. enough to do that afterwards. Yeah. Jeez. I trip out how like there's certain there's certain <laughs> guys who just do that trick yeah, after like it's nothing. Right. The blunt kick. Oh, flip. I know. Yeah. It's like a kick flip. Yeah, it's, like, no, it's not even like no. It's like a rock and roll. Yeah, it's like know. a rock fakie. Rock fakie. Yeah, like, yeah. It's weird when you see them mess up on it. Yeah. Like, I mean, I've gotten to the point where I was skating like a little mini ramp, like a lot, and like a blunt kick flip was like a kick flip on flat ground. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, like yeah. it was just like you're in there and you just kick flip and it comes out. You know what I mean? So I could kind of see that, but mm. after that, it seems a little crazy. You might be right though, Steve. Just said. That might be the I, first on the mini ramp. Dude. I'm not sure though. I mean, I feel like you see back three kick flip, but all the way around like that? That's, yeah. I don't know. Poo. Bro. That was crazy. <laughs> that was crazy. It didn't look like that was hard for him either. No. Uh, he looked chilly. He, he went to get, he eat a sandwich after that. <laughs> He's yeah. checking it out. But. Damn. See how well, this here, goes. Listen, we got the. Yeah, it's going to go great. Go. Wow. <laughs> on, the, on the beat. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that is crazy. <laughs> that is crazy. Yeah, that, is that right there. That right there. Uh, All right. Wow. That was the. That, that was crazy. crazy. That, was, <laughs> that, was, that was crazy. That was crazy. Nice. Ben Hatchell, bro, fucking ripper. All right. Who do we got next? We got a oh honorable mention. You guys seen this? Oh yeah, saw so, so many times. That was right. I think that was, you know, I mean, saw it. That was everyone? pretty fucking late. That was that was pretty amazing. Aimu Yamazuki, Ayumu, Aimu, Aimu. I've been. He's been at going to Tampa Ams and all these contests. Like this kid is incredible to watch, man. I can tell by this. But I mean, you can literally just tell by this. Yeah, it's like this guy's got yeah. control. Got yeah. Yeah, he, mani skills. he manipulated that board real dope. Right there. <laughs> it it yeah. almost was a trip. It was. It's yeah. like, wait, what? Uh, what? Let me look at that again. He just ollie straight up and then 360 okay. in the air? Yeah. What the fuck? And it was, leave his feet. No. Yeah. And it's funny because like we talk about like the one foot back threes. Like that's what we all, I feel like we all love that one. Mm -hmm. But like to see it done like that yeah. is different. Yeah. It hits like, different. Like it pop it. It's different. Dude. Like yeah. the pop it high. It was like a late. Yeah. It's yeah, like it he, late. He, yeah. It's like he, it reminds me of your uh, half cabs. Oh, front side half cabs. Yeah, front yeah. side yeah. half cabs. Yeah, his feet did not. It's like the board. same shit. Yeah. Right. When you get up to the apex. Yeah. Then you turn that thing. I mean, look, he's really at the That's a goal. height there. Wow. Dude, it's so that was amazing, wild. bro. That was amazing. Good stuff. <sighs> yeah. Shout out to Flo Schreiner. It's like on the way down. He, he, yeah. yeah. Crazy. It's it like he's controlling like time almost. He's like mm -hmm. up and then his he knows body's when, already turned before his, 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 his torso is already there. Dude, Dude, straight up. That's like when. Um, Carlos Hibero oh, so yeah, back three over the table. He yeah. was turned around backwards before he even popped. already. Yeah, look yeah. at the top portion of his body and his way his head's turned when he it's, lands. It's still back still, there. It's still back. Right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. That's fucking amazing, man. So, that's fucking hip mobility yeah, right yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, that's you're, hips uh, all day. Bro. Dude, there's so the talent coming out of Japan right now. Have you seen there was like that's a insane. four year old kid doing front side three sixty heel flips? Oh yeah, I, I seen saw that. that. Like, I saw that. that. Yeah. Yeah. That's crazy, dude. Yeah. yeah, they be full in train mode, bro. Like yeah. in their little skate park, just getting everything. But how, do, how does a like? I, I love it. <laughs> it has to be the parents or something that are like, oh, for days. Like it they're like, to be. I want to teach my kid how to front side three sixty heel flip. Mm -hmm. How does that come that early? That's in, like hey. they probably break it down in some mathematical shit just, or something. Yeah. You know, that shit looks like fucking it's equations. Yeah. Yeah. It almost just seems instilled in them in themselves, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Like they just go for it. They're and they get it until they get it. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. incredible, man. Yeah. 
Shout out to Flo Schreiner, a.k.a. Loop Biz, for the song. Hey, thank you, bud. Uh, you could also, if you guys have a song out there, just send it to uh, pick of the week at the nine club.com MP3 file, 20, 30 seconds long. Uh, and it's got to be your own music. Can't be anything copywritten or we won't play it on the show. There you go. So thank you, Flo. Loop Biz for sending that in. Yes, Hell yeah. sir. Oh, yeah. Um, should we, let's get into another discord question here. These are good. I like these discord they questions. Are. This one is a little from, this one's from, uh, Queen Samuel. Should more skaters delete their Instagram accounts and focus solely on putting out video parts slash skating contests? It's, it, it seems anxiety inducing to be a pro skater on social media. Hmm. I don't. What? I don't no. think so. I don't think no. you need to no. need to delete it. No. no. Because it definitely you, helps. Yeah. But it I think helps what he, more than it hurts. I think what Queen Samuel's getting at is like everybody's posting all their clips on social media, which I do find a little frustrating sometimes because by the time their video part comes out, I feel like I've seen everything already, and there's nothing uh, really surprising in there, unless sometimes there is. But it's a lot of it's. It, I've already seen you doing all this stuff at the skate park on Instagram. Like, there's no surprise. Yeah, but we live in the age of if you're not in front of people's faces every single day, mm -hmm. you, your yeah. relevancy is gone. For but sure. But then their skate park, their skate park, I'm like, dude, I... Yeah, but those don't hold the same weight as they used yeah, they to. They don't at all. Some yeah. do, some don't. Some, some... Some do, some don't. Some do. Like, the primitive videos coming out, you know there's going to be some heavy parts in there. No doubt. Oh, yeah. But you know, like, Tiago still posted. I was talking about the other day, I feel like Tiago's not posting as hard as tricks on Instagram anymore, mm -hmm. and he's saving his, his shit for the primitive video. Right. He's still posting dope stuff, yeah. right. but he was throwing like wild shit yeah. a while back, and it's like, I think it's like, it's, it's chilled out. Down a little bit. It's chilled out, like I think that's I think that's smart. That's the way to do it at the pro skater. Yeah. Put out some cool shit, I don't know, and then yeah. save, your, save your shit for your sponsors. I think it's all yeah. relative. I mean, look, you don't wanna blow your whole shit and just put all your shit out. And it seems like that's happening quite often. Mm -hmm. And you got some of these dudes got to be aware of that shit to some degree because I think the element of surprise and seeing something right when it comes out on a video is just still like hits for me. You know what I'm oh, saying? Oh, yeah. So, that's an old way of. Yeah. yeah you know, and but I'm, I, not, I'm not mad at the new way. Right. I'm not. But it definitely takes away from like the, you know. Yeah, it does. But it's also, to your point earlier, a numbers game. Analytics Trump. mean so much, yeah. especially when it comes to trying to get these big name sponsors that are going to pay your bills because yeah. the little guys are not. So there, it's a healthy balance for mm, sure. Totally. And how many, agree. how many times when there's new video parts coming out right now to this day, how many times were you watching that part? Twice, maybe. Once. Well, I'm watching it once, maybe twice. Mm -hmm. Depends. I watch the skank, uh, skanky. <laughs> I watch the uh, spanky part. Yeah. Three, four times. Yeah. I Still love that part. Four times. I guess like, it's back, all depends. Back in the day, it was like... But also, we're not, we're, 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 not 12, yeah. we're not 12, 13 years old. Maybe these kids are watching these things. I think they do. They're times. watching those clips on yeah. their iPhones. But maybe they're watching the video times. part. We can't speak to that. I mean, we're not. I think it kind of evened old. out. I think they're like kind of watching the Instagram and then like, oh, we're watching that part too. I think the part obviously re would represent the, the skateboarder better. Does that make sense? Yeah. Like, because they're putting like. You have a filmer, you have uh, the editing to it, the music that fits the, I don't know, depending yeah, on. Yeah, that's exactly it. Yeah, you know, I think you, it's you, a... get the, you get the whole, mm -hmm. the big picture of that person. But I, I like what Instagram, you know, obviously entails because you get to see sprinkles of everything. And you already kind of know what to expect to a degree of what you're going to see from the skateboarder, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. But then there's that element of surprise of holding shit mm -hmm. for your video part. And then you get that, oh, like okay, if... dope. You know what I mean? Like if like, you had a plan or a strategy yeah. to it, you know? Yeah. 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 If but you it's can, like if you can do that. Some yeah. people can't do that. They just want to put it exactly. out it, as quick yeah. as possible. And it yeah. also comes down to just skateboarding and being a great skateboarder is not going to give you a fruitful career. Right. You have to be a great, yeah. great person. And social media allows people to show their personalities yeah. and show things yes. outside of just their ability on a skateboard. So I think... There are certain people like Wes Kramer never had Instagram. Yeah, yeah. Certain people can do that. They they have that like illustrious way about them. But I feel like modern skateboarders, you have to have something of value because brands are now looking at your numbers and your follower count and what you can provide them because it's not yeah. just about your ability on. The and I was just about to bring yeah. up Wes Kramer too because he's, I mean, when he comes out with the video part, you're like, oh fuck, 
you've you rarely have seen any skating from him unless it's somebody else posting yeah him, you right, know so it's like right. i want to pay more attention to that because i haven't seen mm -hmm. a lot of him but does that do a, a good service for him or a disservice for him he seems like he's happy i don't no, know I, like he's yeah, doing yeah, no, good no, so far no no this is what he chose to do and it's yeah. working for him but i'm saying like in the big scheme of thing is this a disservice or is this a service for him you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, I think it's a little bit of both. I think so, too. I think okay. it's a little bit of both. I think yeah. it's for his own personal, his mental, his yes. own thing. Like, it's great. Yes. But I do know that there have been times where sponsors have wanted him yeah. to get on social media. Well, I think it's the end of it says it seems anxiety-inducing to be a pro skater. That's what it feels like. You're like, you, every day you feel like you have to do shit. Yes. You're like, mm -hmm. fuck, I have to post today. I went through that same shit when yeah. I was skating a couple years ago. I was like... I was posting shit. I'm like, oh my god, I gotta post today, dude. I gotta. Go. I remember the day after the fake trade fake manual. I went skating. I was like, I gotta get a clip today. Mm -hmm. And my and my homie's like, yo, you know, this you're like, you're chilling for a minute. Just bro. chill for bro, a minute. But it was yeah, the same that, as us as Beeble's Park. Yeah. It was like every day we. I mean, Beeble was looking for that. He needed to yeah, post a clip, and we all wanted to post a clip too. Mm -hmm. And we wouldn't even wait until we got home. We were all sitting there after the session, quiet as hell. Yeah. <laughs> Posting our shit, yeah. Because it's and like people's would pop drug. up, mine would pop yeah, up, yeah. W's would pop up. That's that instant gratification, that drug, that, 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 that dopamine. Yeah. Dopamine. Yeah, but during that shit. time, that's a part of it. How fucking active was all of your shit? Oh, I mean, it. I mean, we were there every day. Yeah. No, I know what I'm saying. Like his no, social was, media. Yeah, the engagement with the engagement, on, your on, board sales. I can imagine were there as well. No, that all falls into it. I. I didn't post. I didn't have one. I had one little video part with Manolo that came out during that time. But my skateboarding went way up mm -hmm. i got way more seen i got to turn pro right but, but that yeah. was that was a special time in social media yeah. absolutely like Definitely. that was yeah. a special time so yeah. uh, right now it's so there's tiktok you can you just, whatever dude right. I, yeah. there's youtube you can be in your own world right. yeah. you can, if you have you yeah. can create your own world and build on that that's all that matters right like, and I, now, I really think that's it like i don't know and Who's, now like you know you're we were talking the other week you're like dude you got to get on your reels like you want to get some engagement yeah. get on your reels know, it's I like see. bro like now i have to worry about reels you know what i'm saying like i mean if you want to get that engagement and get that you know if you care about following and all that shit because that will get you following right now because they want you to do reels. Yeah, you, know and you get paid off of it if you do it. That right? too. Yeah. That's yeah. a great. That's a great incentive. Yeah. And what's crazy is like when we used to do it, and this wasn't a, a thing. We were like we were skating for companies, and we had to do shit because we had to do shit. Right. Yes. We had to go. For on, them. We had to go do do shit for them. Yeah. We had to go these trips. We had to do shit, and we loved it. That was amazing, right? But then as soon as you get into the point where you're like you're your own boss, you're yeah. fucking doing your own shit, and you're making shit happen, and content's coming, and you see the fucking shit. happen happen yeah then you're like let's go let's fucking do i'll do it tomorrow i just did the fucking fake tray flip the best trick ever done <laughs> boom i'm gonna do some other shit tomorrow yeah, you know like go and you're let's go like, like yeah. i'm my own boss let's fucking go yeah yeah and it comes down to we talked about before the the pumpkin effect is that what he's called mark johnson called it where he like he got a trick and then like he was so hyped with the next day yeah, your trick turns into a pumpkin. Trick, the other day, the yeah, day, you have to go get another one. Uh, like, I got another yeah. trick. Yeah, 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 yeah That's yeah. what it's like. That's yeah. somewhat what it's like. I don't know. I think there's a few skaters right now, like obviously a shod. I think shod might be the best at it I've ever seen. Considering he's putting out ridiculous video parts. He's have he's a personality. He's funny, dude. He's a model. Yeah. He's playing basketball. He's in a lot of little like worlds, he's for sure. uh, that to me. He's if you. If there was a blueprint, which is that's hard. You can't be as talented as him. Just that dude is just. No, I agree with you, bro. Yeah, he's MJ. definitely, he, and he's giving it to you on social media like no other. You know yeah. what I'm saying? He's giving you like the funny shit that mm -hmm. he thinks is funny. Yeah, personality, skateboarding is on um, fucking point like no other. Yeah. and just you know, you get the full scope of what Ashad's about, which is a beautiful yeah. thing. Yeah, bro. yeah. Because yeah. yeah. a lot of skaters they just post skate clips. Totally. That's it. Yeah. There's no lifestyle or no about them. Yeah. It's just the clips. Definitely. That's it. Which yeah. is fine. Totally. And then fine. you got like a PJ lad who's just posting on his story and he's posting amazing stuff. That shit I'm, just disappears. It just goes away. I'm like, dude, that is, but, but I kind of mm. like that. Yeah. Because he's just like sprinkling it out there, and if you know, you know. Mm -hmm. And if you and, like him, you're yeah. gonna record that shit. <laughs> yeah, 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 dude. And you can save it, and nah. you can post it later. I wish there was a place that it lived <laughs> for sure, <laughs> because that hit, hit watching him skate. Nah, because mm -hmm. then you could do a, cult, a PJ. You know what I'm saying? And like, if that shit's in the story, and that people are really not getting to see that, like, you gather all that shit up, and you throw that shit out there for him. Because at the end of the day, 
we're supporting skateboarders that are fucking talented. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Regardless, he, PJ is a special fucking skateboarder, man. You know yeah. what I mean? Real talk. Yeah. You know, so for him to sprinkle like that and really not let it resonate and like live somewhere, go ahead and fucking steal that shit. Put that shit up somewhere and, yeah. sh- and just, you know, Don't push it forward out. for him. Yeah, it's a, it, it, it must be really, for a pro skater, it must be like, what do I do today? Like, I don't know. I guess, I feel like John Delo, that dude, he's doing really good stuff. Man. He's posting all the time. He's, he's gnarly. You know he's filming, too. He, I, He's I, gnarly, bro. I yeah. was just talking to, with Chris about him, man. He is fucking unbelievably good. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And so happy-go-lucky, man. He deserves fucking everything on some yeah, real shit. For sure. He's on that new, uh, the hours is yours. Hours is yours, the mm. shoe company with Brian, Brian Herman. Herman. Oh, yeah. yeah, he's got that. So, yeah, and big ups to that dude. They taking a chance. Yeah, that's that's the risky move. You know what I mean? Like going into the shoe business within the skateboard industry. I wish you nothing but the best, man. Real talk. Oh, I guess last thing I'll say on this: if you have fun with social media, have fun with it. Yeah, that that's all you can do. If you make that a. a, a if you're a skateboarder no it's so yeah. true yeah just it's so have fun true with it dude. i used to have so much more fun with social media and then it became like kind of a job and it was just like fuck it sucked yeah, yeah. It's, it's a little different when it's a job right everything's a little different uh, when, right if you love something and become a job it's a little different but mm. if you keep it fun it doesn't feel like a job and i don't know yeah there's yeah. a lot of people out there who do a great job yeah with social media um but yeah, I don't know. I mean, I don't think people should uh, delete their Instagram accounts. No. But um, I think that, you know, this day and age, I'm, video parts are still important. Like Steeza said, they may not hold their weight too much. I think some videos do, some videos don't. We've seen it in the in the past where it's like, sure. wow, this video just came out. It's insane, right? Uh, the hype dies down. But we're not 15 years old anymore. Yeah. So maybe these kids are watching them. 25 40 times who knows well, but, there's a lot of views in these videos so uh, obviously uh-huh, right yeah. right so you know but i'd like to see more you know like andrew reynolds post stuff on his instagram which is rad like ashad he's not ashad's posting cool, cool shit but it, they're like saving their the, the bangers for their video parts yeah you yeah, know and that's what sure. i like to see i don't like to see like just these video these bangers on instagram and i'm like and then that kid's video part comes out i'm like basically seen all this shit yeah. i've seen him do the fucking big nolly big heel tray flip out late shove it i didn't I, i've seen it yeah you're not if, surprising if, me yeah if you make something and make me want to go skate then you did your job dude that's, that's yeah it. like Straight i up. see i see dylan james do some shit and i'm like i i watch like mike mo footage from back then pop up randomly i'm like all right let's go like i want to go skate like i don't like yeah you know, no doubt. there's there's shit like that dylan jay is no joke right now man he's oh just, yeah my favorite yeah man, he's like fucking he's super, favorite. super 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 so Ill. good but go, also going back to i mean i see some dudes that you know big time skateboarders and they fucking had a lot of instagram posts or whatever and then they're gone and now they have one or two posts I think that's different. I mean, but they, again, like you're you're refreshing your shit and you're starting mm-hmm. over. I just find that like, damn, okay, you just fucking disregarded all it's those crazy, all, all those posts that mm-hmm. you just that got you to this. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Because there's people that don't know about you still right. that probably want to come back and see some of the shit that you posted prior. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And that's the thing too is like with Instagram, even though, good lord, I mean, good luck scrolling through a thousand Instagram posts, you mm-hmm. know, on somebody's feed, but. Nobody is going to document your skating or your life like you yeah, can. Yes, right? yes. You're yes, the right. only person out there that can document your stuff. Right. Like I said, it's good luck yeah. going a thousand posts back. But some people do it. Some people stay and they scroll back and they'll leave a comment on something four yeah. years old. I'm like, the fuck? Dude, I've, you I've, sat there yeah. for t- yeah. two hours? Straight like, up. holy shit. But you're the only person that's going to do that. So... If you choose that to delete you insight, something, but that gives you more insight on that individual. Like, fuck, if you didn't know that dude and you just had, they just had one post or two posts up. I mean, they don't, they, they can't really, unless they go to like YouTube or like they have to go to another, you know, yeah. like platform. access to, lot, to, yeah. to, to find more info about you or whatever the case. But this is your direct shit. You know what I'm saying? So I think it just does a disservice to you. But at the end of the day, once you get to that point, you don't give a fuck. If you have fucking 500,000 followers or a million followers, maybe you don't care anymore. And you're just like, ah, I'm going to erase all this shit. I'm going to start over. And yeah. it, this feels right to me. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Sure. I mean, I look at, if I look at my uh, Instagram feed, like I'm like, yeah, I 
like I remember those times. Yes, like, yeah, that was the like whole 2016, point, right? 2016, I was like, fuck, that was, uh, or sometimes it was a hard time, like my hip surgery. I'm like, damn, that whole all these posts. I remember that time feeling so weird. It's a little yeah. journal. Yeah. It's a little journal. It's a little yeah. journal. Like it's, I think I would say leave all that shit up. But yeah, I, don't know. yeah. I remember. So, sorry, go ahead. No, I remember talking to Megan Baltimore, owner of Girl, and when Instagram first came out, and she was so over it. She's so not into it, and like I remember, a lot of people were right. Yeah. yeah, and I remember being like, "No, but you, it's it's like a journal. It's like you take a lot of photos, but the one photo that you really loved from that point in your life, you post it, mm -hmm. and people can see it, and like that's what you loved at that point, and then you know people get to know you, and da da da." And she was like so over it, but. She's like, yeah, but look at, her, look, at, look at her now. <laughs> look at her now. She's about it now. A lot of people like exactly. that when Instagram came out. You know, it was like, oh, then, I mean, we used to have companies that would promote us. And so I think it was a little different then when, like, we had to then put ourselves out there on our own Instagram and, like, post stuff of ourselves. Right. right. Like, I think some skaters were like, uh, well, people kind of self for sure. This is weird. Yeah. Yeah, for I, sure. remember, I remember posting, like, expedition boards and, like, people were like, wait. Why are you posting about exp like I'm like no this is what I like to do. I don't know I felt like uh it should have been coming from expedition but like yo I want to promote my brands. Yes. This is how I can promote my brands. Yes. So I don't know it's like a, it was interesting it was, just something it was new. It was something new that the I think the older people didn't understand how to like go about the social media mm -hmm. I think at that point. So we were the fir I think we were the first one of the first industries like really skateboarding help Instagram get put on the map i'm some real shit i this is i just think me. so too in the beginning i remember being in china and this shit was barely a year old and we were like we were going hard in the paint i remember like mm -hmm. and like this shit was just new I, I i barely see anybody we were always in the fucking uh popular page early on oh, it was yeah. a popular page. Yeah. Yeah. i don't know if you Pop remember page. bro i'll be like i'm in the popular page like bro so early on like <laughs> And I don't even know if there was an algorithm like really. People had their theories. It, you know what I'm saying? It was 30 likes in 30 minutes. Yeah. At yeah. the beginning. Yeah. yeah. You know? So. Dude, that's so man, I'm just whatever. I got to big up skateboarders because, you know, we definitely forefronted that shit. Well, once they brought video on, skateboarders just went crazy with it. For sure. It was yeah. a little slow at first. Video. Yeah, it was mm -hmm. a little slow at first. And then in 2015 is when it just went bananas. Mm -hmm. For sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's when it just. And it sucked too because I was in the I was one of the people that was in the forefront of at least like chocolate being on yeah. it and like all this shit and it was like it th became a job and then like I was I was there being creative and helping shit happen all creative you style were ahead of that for sure creatively and then all of a sudden they were like no nah, let's just post like stock photos of like ads and stuff and we'll just do that because this is like a huge marketing place and we need to do this. Yeah. I'm like what the fuck like what happened to this shit being fun and like yeah, being organic, organic. organic. Uh, yeah, yeah like it's not just like a lay down of like something like hanging boards on shit and like making cool doing shit doing your own personal magazine you know mm -hmm. I would yeah I would, like sometimes when I post sometimes I, I don't know Don likes it when I do it I'll post like a photo of the shit. cause it's real yeah cause it's it goes, fucking real goes, it gets a lot of interaction and then you post like a really beautiful studio shot and it doesn't get it anything doesn't well it's, get it's, it's an ad yeah, well, people are you're so being, used to that. You're you're just you're seeing an ad then. Yeah, right. If it's like a studio shot. No, but it's it still another looks thing. Beautiful. Like I look at the shoe because I, I love. Of course, skates. it's beautiful. So no, like, not. Oh, it's sick, but I still it's funny. I understand what you're saying. Yeah, but just that simple difference of holding. I it. can see why you do it, and, and it works. You know, what I mean, yeah. it's a great engagement, and people like it's a video, so you're like get to see the whole shoe and just yeah. the way <laughs> you do a great job, Kelly. Oh, you know, thank you. It's thank a real you. shit. <laughs> Real talk. I think that's uh, the way to approach it if you're going to be doing this shit. Mm. But I think sometimes people from companies they're like, "Yeah, we want it a like, specific way." Specific way. But I do agree with you that like when you add the personality Absolutely. to it, it just yes. add, it just adds so much more. A little flair. Yeah, yeah for sure. sure. And so, thank you, Queen Samuel. Great <laughs> fucking question. That was good. Good question, bro. Good question. I like these questions. Add them on Discord. Add some more. Yeah, Please. Discord. We Definitely. got the. Uh, we can do this all night. It's on questions. There. Yeah, it's on there. Yeah. Brings well, insights. Uh, great conversation. Man. Topic suggestions. Called get involved. Budget or butteries on there also. Okay, before we hit the raffle, we have one more thing to talk about really quickly. Light years came out. Great video. So great sick. video. We have a little montage here of some of the. Uh, what is 
Was this a Kelly a, got that? Yeah, 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 yeah. I've Smith grinded rails before. Uh, uh, is this an Adidas video that was like an Australian? Team? It was supported by Adidas. Okay, yeah. Because I know it's all Adidas. Mm-hmm. Um, Definitely supported by Adidas. Dennis Durant. Dennis Brad Durant Saunders, is this fucking Gabriel OG. Summers. He's OG. Dude. He is. He's, he, and he put it down, bro. He's still straight up so much power and like snap, dude. It's mm-hmm. crazy. Many people in this video. Yeah. Adam Davies. That was a big ass nose one. Australia, stand up. Edited Please. by uh, <laughs> Lee Bolton. Boom. Good video, though. Good stuff. Yeah, it was free. Less. Free skate mag? Free skate mm-hmm. mag. Yeah. Yep. Oh, they, they have great content, by the way. That was a mindfuck. They do. I was, yeah, that dude. I was, those were like powerhouse tricks. Yeah, right? That was yeah, dope yeah. as fuck. Yeah. That front side half kept it. Oh, he almost oh, got. He almost yeah, got he walked flip. out of it. Nice. He almost got tore up. Front side half kept heel flip, excuse me. Wow. So wow. cool. Back oh, this you. dude's sick. Oh, yeah. Sean Parker. Yeah, he's dope. Bro. He's good, man. I've been seeing him around on Instagram for a while. It's, it's funny. You see, I know who this dude is because yeah. of Instagram. But someone hit me up about, about, do you got to pay attention to this dude? I got I got hit by somebody on in Instagram. Australia, on Instagram, yeah. and I hit him. I'm like, damn, this dude is fucking on his way. Yeah. <laughs> Shit. Mm-hmm. Hell yeah. Yes. Yep. <laughs> you guys, this is like wow. the third time. <laughs> I don't know what wow. Don't apologize, bro. When you're when the bladder gets full, Man. you gotta. Uh, I love it. Dubby goes through all the cameras. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> the only reason why I go there is because there's no cameras yeah. that way. Oh, here's Dennis. Yeah, it's definitely a good video. A lot of. It's good to see Dennis, man. He, like Dennis Durant. Look at that spot. I love a good crooked grind, switch crook, front crook. You don't need mm-hmm. a little. You don't need to flip out or flip in. Sometimes mm-hmm. you know. I want a spot like that. that I mean, like some that people would try to flip out on that. You know. Oh, that's by your house. Mm-hmm. Where? What? What? The that the hard one. flip. Oh, mm-hmm. this. Mm-hmm. Bah. It's good hard flip. Cool video, dude. I mean, hell yeah. Good stuff. Yeah. Super cool. Link will be in the description later on when we put it in there. Yeah. <laughs> Forgot to put it in in the beginning of the show, but uh, we'll, we'll add them. No worries. No worries. Go check it out, though. Uh, Light Years, what it's called. Like I said, Dennis Durant, uh, Ben Frank, Kyle Lawson, Phil Marshall, Morgan Campbell. A lot of people. A lot of people. Hey, Ron. Jen, Jenna Cutting, I'm back. Adam Davies, good stuff. Good stuff. Yes, go check it out. Like I said, link will be in the description later in the show. We're gonna do the raffle though. Uh, first of all, shout out to the uh, Manny Metal with the hundred dollars. Thank you, Manny. Alex. Otero with the hundred dollars. The biggest value to our mental health is skateboarding. Don't stop skating, y'all. Skaters supporting skaters. Peace. Yo. There you go. Also, uh, Adley Aker. Shout out Westside Skate Shop with the one ninety nine. Uh, who else we got here? Patrick Honan with the four ninety nine. Thank you for the weekly entertainment. Would love to see Ben Nordberg on the show. Okay. Nice. Hell yeah. uh, hey, thank you for the, thank you, Leo JH, new channel member, gold member. Thank you for that, Leo. Bunk Duster, yo, I need this packy. <laughs> I don't think he was talking about the packy chip either. I think he was talking mm. about the packy. Ooh, the packy. packy chip. Let's go. Caleb. Let's go. Oh, <laughs> another packy. He wants that packy. I got another Caleb Roberts here. Caleb Roberts. No, another, another, another Roberts. 199. Hey, guys. Hey. Oh. <laughs> you, might, you might be related to him. Edward Fitzler. Two dollars. Bring back MySpace. Man. Shout hey, thank Tom. you for all the donations. Uh, Amazing. Listen, MySpace was what? 2007? 2006? Way before. Uh, probably ended around like 2006, yeah, 7. Right. Maybe Elon Musk. Did I was just going to say, shout yeah. out Elon Musk. Yeah, yeah, what's man. up, bro? Buy all the social medias. Let's go. Oh, 44 Billy. Jesus. 
I think Nine Club's worth about that much. Right? Yeah. For 47, maybe. 47 yeah. billion? Yeah. yeah. 69 billion. 69 billion. That's right. <laughs> it had That's to right. be that. It had to be. I love 69. <laughs> Uh, this episode's raffle is the four pairs of S Damn. shoes. We got the Wade Desarmo XL Slim. We got the Wade Desarmo Swift 1.5. We got the Tom Asta Swift 1.5 and the Kelly Hart XL Slim. And a nice big package. Huge, heavy package. This nice big one. We got a mystery box here. Nobody knows what's in them except Raj. Raj is the only one who knows. They are about 14, 14 and some pounds. So it's probably some, it's probably some good stuff in here. So all the donations that we received tonight for this, which we will pick next episode, pick the four pairs of S footwears, the Swifts, Sarmo, Asta, Hearts. All the donations that we get, 100% is going to go to Dan Mancina's um, uh, foundation. Keep keep it pushing. Keep pushing. Uh, he's building the. F he wants to build the first fully adaptive skate park to host skateboard workshops for the blind and visually impaired. Um, he has VRT training, which is uh, vision rehabilitation therapy. So he wants to build an adaptive skate park using adaptive methods, such as increasing the size of obstacles, adding contrast to obstacles, tactical ground, auditory cues for echolocation, 3D models, and a spacious layout. Once a, v a facility is built, Dan plans to host monthly skate sh workshops and skateboard lessons for local youth and adults who are blind and visually impaired. Annual adaptive contests to help push for skateboarding in the Paralympics as well. As well as uh, use uh, park adaptations to influence future public skate parks. Amazing. So definitely support them yes. uh, and Dan. Uh, check out his nightclub episode as well. It's fucking phenomenal. Great stuff. So all of all the proceeds tonight, 100% of them, are going to go to keep it, keep pushing. And the link will be in the video description below. Yes. So you can go and donate yourself if you're not watching the live show. Here we right. go. Get that package. Get that. Nice Get that big package. One. We got the mystery box and the S footwear. Four pairs of shoes. Four Man. of them. So Series. you could, I mean, you're donating right now. Crazy. You could be, you could win four pairs of shoes and a mystery box. And you're definitely supporting a great cause. Yes. So you win either way. One thousand but you yeah. could win physical items. You know what I'm saying? Thank you, S, for uh, donating the shoes. Right, nine Club colorway. It's <laughs> weird. Hmm. Tom must have loved our S. Yeah, he, he really did so like So he it. was just like, you know what? Just yeah. give me the Nine Club colors, bro. That That's and like he up. likes the Philly Philadelphia Flyers a lot too. So he's like, yeah, it's kind of the same thing. Yeah, same I mean, color, it's a little, colors. it's a, okay. it's a lighter orange pant. I can see. It. Okay. Isn't that the shoe uh, Don was showing us when he wanted us to do another collab? Nope. <laughs> was there a Philadelphia like uh, the bell inside of it oh no Liberty Bell no it had our logo mm -hmm. oh yeah <laughs> sskateboarding.com mm. and Dan's website keeppushinginc.com so thank you Dan for all that you do and thank you S for the shoes for the raffle appreciate you guys Go check them out. Go buy some. Hey. Go buy some shoes. Support. Support. All right. We're going to pick three winners for the three. Meow Skateboards. Let's get it. We got the uh, stickers and pin over here. Four boards. That's Each winner, four boards. That's a lot of boards. So yeah, dude. Nice, nice, nice big package. Nice, nice big package. One. Did I hit that? Oh. <laughs> All right, so Meow Skateboards. Go check them out. Uh, MeowSkateboards.com. They got some amazing writers on there. Vanessa Torres, Mariah Duran, uh, Kristen Ebling, Annie Guglia, Poe Pinson, Christiana Means, uh, Nanaka Fujisawa, Marissa Martinez, Christine Cotton, Rinka Kanamori, Yuri Lee, Amy Karen. Stacked team. Definitely. Stacked. 
Oh. Who's picking? Did you guys pick last time? Oh, we picked last yep. time. Yep. Okay. Hey, it's well, our turn. I'll just pick. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's fun, Chris's right? Turn. I like by, you like picking. It's fun I to pick. pick. I yeah, want to pick. I like picking. I, I want to pick too. I want to pick too. <laughs> All right. Four meow skateboards, three winners. Each winner. I want to participate four too. Skateboards and the sticker pack. Boom. I, I got mine. Oh. Okay. Got him? Got it. Got him. Yep. All right, LD, go ahead. Who do we got? Brian F uh, Fabian. Oh, Brian Fabian. Yeah. Okay. Fabian. Right, cool. Nice. Go ahead, I got uh, Ryan Spence. Ryan Spence. I th I've seen that name before. I think he's lucky. And I got Justin Kilpatrick. Here hey. we go. Nice. No, Justin Kilp. Nobody said nothing. Nobody no. said nothing. All 99 yeah. cent. Justin Kilpatrick, Ryan Spence, Brian Fabian. Email us, contest at the nineclub.com. Send a screenshot of your receipt that you got when you donated in the Super Chat and your address all in one nice email. And we'll get these sent off to you ASAP. Congratulations. Four skateboards to each and every one of you. And some sticker packs. Y'all done one. Meowskateboards.com. Check them out. There we go. Good stuff. That's awesome. Good stuff. Nice. Good stuff. We're going to go yes. in the in the green room after we eat. We got some burritos and stuff, some Mexican food that we're going to demolish here Thanks, after Nightclub. the show. And then we're going to go yeah, thank you, Nightclub. kick it in the green room. Play, play some Wordle. We play some Nerdle. And some Hurdle. Hurdle. Some hurdle. You know? And, and watch some hurdles. funny stuff. Yeah, and watch some videos. Yeah. 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 You know what I'm saying? It's always random every time. It really is. <laughs> So it we'll, really is. We'll find something. Yeah. It's like our after show wind down. Yeah. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, like yeah. we're wind up in there, but we're also winding down. You know, it's nice. Kick it with the chat. Yep. Interactions there. It's, it's really fun. Yeah. It's on Twitch. Nightclub Green Room on Twitch. Go download it. It's free. Download it. It's it's really easy. We're just kicking you it. You know what I'm saying? We're just kicking it. You can type in there. Chat with us. Mm -hmm. Or you can just go to twitch.tv forward slash the nightclub green room. Hey. Don't even need the app. Don't even need the app. Okay. There you go. Right. If you want to avoid the app. I had someone hit me up with like, oh, I don't know what to do. I'm like, you can download the app. I didn't know that. It's, it's a website still. Yeah. There you go. Yeah, it's, yeah. You can go to the website. Shout out everybody that's donating in the live chat. Like I said, all this is going to keep pushing Dan Mancina adaptive skate park that he's going to build and his whole program out there it's going to be amazing i hope yeah. for i hope one day that i can go out there once it's yeah, built and uh sure. kick it with everybody so thank you everybody that's donating in the live chat right now um well after this show we will take all this stuff and donate it in the uh in his foundation we're about uh twenty six hundred dollars right now Really? Wow. Damn. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, everybody. Man, Thank you. Awesome. It's going to the right place. Okay. For sure. $2,600. I don't even see that on mine over here. I got to refresh. I got a special one over here. Roger's been counting the whole time. <laughs> He's been counting. He's like one. He's yeah. on his calculator. <laughs> to a little inventory. $4.99. $2.99. Uh, amazing. So, dude, that's awesome. It's on fundraiser also. I know we've been repeating it, but I want to just get it in people's minds, you know. Boom. Keep pushing. On fundraiser, link will be in the description below. Yes. There we go. So shout out. Those are my last words. Shout out Dan Mancina. Go watch his episode, his Nine Club episode. Go watch his skate part on um, Thrasher. Give both of them a, a thumbs up and a like and a, and a comment on there and show show the support. You know what I'm saying? 1,000. Yes, and so. if, you, if you have the means, go to fundraiser in the link in the description. Donate to the uh, uh, adaptive skate park for the visually impaired and blind that he's going to build. There we go. Dubs. I love that. I'm going to double down on what Chris just said. I'm not going to repeat because I can't remember, but I, <laughs> I appreciate everybody out here, obviously, supporting the show and supporting what we are doing in the skateboard industry. We love skateboarding. Let's just this, this, let's, this keep it real simple. This is skateboarding, and we love this shit. This is what we're all about. So let's just uh, continue to push the movement on skateboarding in general and promote positivity man because this is what we're about there you yeah. go yeah. there you go ld same shit um i literally just want to say thank you thank mm -hmm. you for everybody that helps us out and and supports us personally and the show and everything we're about thank you mm. steezus rinse and repeat 
Rinse and repeat. <laughs> Same shit. <laughs> okay. Oh, beautiful thing. Man. Kelly, I back all that. I got three more things. Oh, shit. Three? Yeah, real quick. Go ahead. Real, first off, shout out uh, Josh Kalos. Happy birthday. Oh, so, happy shout birthday out to the OG. OG, he's no doubt. king of the pal. Fucking. All day. The tray flip, everything he's done. I just want to say thank you to Josh Kalos. Happy birthday. Legend. Um, Second, I'll be at Tampa, uh, Tampa Pro this weekend. So if you see me out there, say what's up. Uh, down to hang out and be judging. It should be a good time. Yeah. And then third, I had a new that new colorway come out and thank you for everyone for all the like good kind words and all, everything like that. I appreciate it and it's cool to be doing shit with my favorite companies and friends and being here with you guys. Like that colorway I had was the same first pair of S colorway that I got the SLB twenty threes when I was eleven. Damn. And I have a photo of me like just little k k fatty just like <laughs> same shoes same colorway and i just like yo i just i just i don't know i'm real thankful so thank you everyone and um yeah i'll see you guys in tampa and i love all you guys this is awesome we'll get ready, eat some food yes green room and we love skateboarding there you go big love, yeah, there you big go love. so again Thank you guys so much for tuning in, kicking it. Hey, everybody in the chat that's donated tonight, almost, almost, what did you say, 2,600 bucks? Wow. Going straight to Amazing. Dan's uh, fundraiser for the skate park. Thank you guys so much. That uh, helps, we, man. Anything yeah. helps, man. And Nine Club's going to donate along with you guys, so we're going to bump that number up even more. So, yeah, just appreciate every one of you. And uh, go to the Nine Club green room on Twitch. We'll be there in about 10 minutes, we're going to shove these burritos down our, into our face. <laughs> maybe and, 15. Yeah, maybe 15. Maybe, maybe a little, little time. Yeah. yeah. Digest. But we'll be in there, kicking it. Yeah. So thank you to everybody that's involved. Yeah. Roger, Tim, JC. JC. Stasis, photos. Kelly. Yeah. Justin, Dubs. Chris. 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 <laughs> Christopher. Christopher. Everybody out there. Thank you guys so much. Roll the credits, Raj. Love you guys. Thank yeah, you guys so much. Yes. Especially Edward's mustache. 